Come on now, people. I've been telling you for almost two years now, you need to have a GNR TV. And now sports are back. Football is back. Now is the perfect time for you to get this if you don't have it already. And if you look on over here, as I've been telling you before, you get all these amazing channels, every single one of them, for $20 a month for two devices. And if you look on up over here, it's written. It's written everything you get with GNR TV. If you want four devices, $40. And there's some cool extras right here. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, get it. What more can I say? What more can I say? It's time to cut the damn cord, stop being ripped off by the dish and cable, and get this lovely thing we call GNR TV. Streaming done right. Let's get slicing and dicing with Sir Sturdy Horror fans. On this podcast, you will hear me and a guest do some movie reviews, random funny horror chats, and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember, I'll see you in your nightmares. Well, this station's mask. There we go. Ooh, I'm playing with the. Oh, yeah. Don't mind me. I'm like a kid, man. But, it's all good. It's all good. You're like, oh, shit. I touched. Wow, oh, man. <laughs> Just putting the link right here. Boom. Bang. We'll be live in a few seconds. So. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that works. <clears throat> Here we are, peeps. We're live. Z motherfucking network. <clears throat> Horror was our sturdy. I have some awesome guests with me. And um, I'll, I'll, I'm going to introduce everybody to everybody. I hope I don't mess up your names. I've recorded with you guys quite a few times. So to my this side, my right, your left, I believe, is... uh. Kyle, and um, if I'm not mistaken, Kyle's Canadian. I could be making yes, that. Yes, I am. And I'm not the, uh, Toronto Canadian. Raptors had going now. <laughs> and again, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Kyle, me and Kyle were talking the other day, and he said that uh, this will be his first American Thanksgiving. So, welcome. I hope your Thanksgiving is awesome. And this is a traditional movie that we watch in America since like childbirth, Thanksgiving. <laughs> you watch it with your family usually on Thanksgiving, but you had to see it's it for the whole family, man. Yeah. Well, Kids well, here's, here's the fun part: he invited the Canadian to American Thanksgiving, who's also a vegetarian. <laughs> so, like, come on. <laughs> hey, if you're gonna do it, man. <laughs> yeah, pumpkin. All pie. right, mashed potatoes all the way. There you go. So yeah, that's him. And then to this side is Chris. You guys have seen him before plenty of times. Are you sure about that? I know we all look the same to you. <laughs> Especially the two on top. <laughs> <laughs> and then down here, we have CK. Or is it KC? Did I fuck it up? KC. KC. <laughs> it's two letters. <laughs> <laughs> that was the easiest name. Wait, uh, Dele- Delexia. <laughs> and then down by, below me is Slinky. Mm-hmm. Hope all's going great with you guys. And then in this corner is James. Yeah. And yeah, this is us doing this movie, reviewing this movie. And fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so damn high. Uh, up, Seems like it, I could feel like it just hit you right there. Yeah. Uh, right right when he went to say his name, it hit him like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. There we go. All right. Before we get started in the review, what's everybody drinking? I'm being classy. So I have my pinky out and I have some red wine. <laughs> in a pint, gl- giant pint glass? <laughs> popcorn. Oh, no, it's not popcorn and pints, but that's, you know, that's on the network. So got to represent. <laughs> Okay, I'm drinking some Browns Brewing. 
Kolsch Golden Lager, which is delicious from Troy, New York. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. Anybody else drink? drinking water? Yeah, I'm kicking it sober. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got some Mountain Dew. <laughs> the H2O, man. <laughs> Stay hydrated. <laughs> drink is a drink. Now I'll be drinking tomorrow. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, thanks killing people, as I've said before, plenty of times. This is my favorite horror comedy. It's an amazing movie. It's a masterpiece. You had to be a fucking genius to come up with this movie. <laughs> or really high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but, okay. <laughs> but it is, it's, it's a gem of cinema. Like in the, uh, you know, years from now when people find the remnants of uh, the human civilization, I hope they find this film. Me too. That's the first thing I hope they find. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> but I mean, it's... Uh, it's a lot of fun, man. And uh, that's how I feel about movies. Like, what's the point? You know, watch a movie, have a good time. And uh, boy, boy, oh boy, they have a good time with this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be a cult classic. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> I, uh, this is the first time I've ever watched it, actually, two nights ago. You're welcome. And I made the mistake <laughs> of, yeah, I made the mistake of watching it sober, which I don't recommend. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it was a work night, so I couldn't get that, you know, mm. hammered. So if uh, if you haven't seen this, I would say and you are trying to set a bar for it, I would say bury a hole and put that bar in that hole. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it out the fucking window <laughs> because no. it's not going to meet whatever expectation. you have. Yeah, you just got, this is one of those fun movies. You just have to shut your brain off and just enjoy the ride. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, shut it down, be inebriated on some sort of substance, uh, and just go just go with it, man. Just go with it. <laughs> I did like that it was only just over an hour though. I think that that was certainly a fine length. Oh yeah. It definitely helped. <laughs> yeah, the time, the time wasn't bad for this movie. Um but it was just again, like James said, just to turn your brain off, sit back, kick your feet up and relax. You probably don't want to watch it with your significant other guys because most women don't find this movie funny. My wife watched two minutes of this movie with me and said, fuck it, I'm leaving the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, it starts off with a bang, man. You know. <laughs> yeah, we got tits in the first second. Nice yeah. tits, bitch. <laughs> then, you know, you just got stuff. That's that's oh, that's I really mean, come on. I, it's even written on the poster that boobs in the first second or something like that, it's right? It's the first yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Maybe> top. <laughs> it's the <laughs> so <yeah. awesome. laughs> but um <clears throat> I don't know. Is it a tradition now for all those that are initiated? Definitely. Oh yeah, every year you gotta watch this for Thanksgiving. I I watch this uh yeah. At least I wanna say at least. I might have missed one year, but like every year so far I think I watch it at least once. Hmm. I'm gonna say no, but then next year's gonna roll around and I'm sure I'm gonna be drunk and do it. <laughs> yeah. Then you're gonna go, Oh, now I get it. Yeah. That's why everybody loves this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, oh, you're you're talking about it. I came across it on accident. Like I, I at the day I first got Netflix ever, and I was looking through horror movies. And Netflix at the time had a shit ton of uh B-ray movies. I was like, I was like, you know what? This cover looks cool. Let me click it. That's how I that's how I am when I pick out movies. I just yeah. go, this looks cool. And I watched it and said, Holy shit. I was like, I laughed. I was like, this is so <laughs> cheesy, but I got through it, and I was like, then I just started talking to all my friends. I was like, yo, you gotta see this movie. Then it just spread like wildfire. I got like a lot of friends who got the, uh, watched it already, and they like it. So, it's, I, I, it's a good movie to me. Yeah, just the, I feel just the fact that this exists, and that I know it exists, is enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then don't watch part three. <laughs> There's no part two. Spoiler. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it, what part I, three is like the search for part two. The yeah, search for the sequel. <laughs> it, it's it's like that's an uh, that's an amazing uh, concept actually. And but when I, I saw the time on it and it said the running time was like two hours, I'm like, I don't fucking think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a gauntlet, man. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, I found uh, I had a a friend of mine worked at Movie Stop, 
rest in peace, movie stop. Um, and he knew I liked bad movies, you know, bad horror movies. Um, and so he, oh, have you seen Thanks Killing? And like, I thought he was kidding, you know. No, he wasn't. And uh, met him behind the store in the alley and bought it out of his trunk, <laughs> like a drug deal. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but uh, that's how I found out about it. And uh, unfortunately, I was sober the first time I saw it. Um, then I immediately went and got soused and watched it again. Uh, totally different experience. So, yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I love the shit out of this movie. The movie's great. And it's oh, yeah. so quotable. There's so many good one-liners. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, oh, man. You know. Some great one-liners. <laughs> I, think, I think that's what it is. I think that's what catches you. You think, like, the first couple, you're like, oh, okay, they're not going to come out anymore. Yeah. Well, I out. mean, they obviously knew what they were doing when they made this, what they were making. I'm like, you, you better have some good fucking one-liners or jokes at least mm. <laughs> to, <laughs> you know, keep people it, some interested. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just gobble, gobble, motherfucker. <laughs> that one kills me. Um, that one, the one that you just got stuffed. Like, yeah. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> the what gravy flavored condom. That one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was funny. Well, I, w- I was actually reading um, just on their Wikipedia today, looking up some background info. I guess uh, they had the tagline before they even had a plot for the movie, if you want to call it a plot. They, like, they had gobble, gobble, motherfucker, and then basically wrote, wrote around, uh, what's funny to see a killer turkey do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I can see that being an inside joke between like the director and the writer for years. Like, something happened at one of their Thanksgivings years ago, and so... That's like they're it's like the snoochy boochies, if you will. And uh yeah. then hey, let's let's make a movie with a crazy puppet, a killer turkey. <laughs> There's no such thing as evil turkeys. There's no such thing as evil turkeys. Everything was a joke, even like when they uh, uh the the one guy who was uh getting revenge for his dog where he said, I saved your ass, the, the shit on his chest was cranberry. Cranberries would look like it was like cranberry sauce. <laughs> so it's like oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh r- really the only joke that made me think holy shit i can't believe they said that was uh they're driving in the jeep uh the one girl's clearly uh loose with her sexual inhibitions oh and, yeah and then her friend's like your legs are harder to close than the john benet ramsey case i'm like oh <laughs> shit <laughs> like like it was bad at first but it was funny and then it just they, they played on it what five four or five times throughout the rest oh, of the yeah, she, Come on, guys. It's getting cringy now. <laughs> like, yeah, she used yeah. the joke a second time, and then the dorky nerd kid tried to use it and fucked it up. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. How did how, you guys like the love ballad? <laughs> <laughs> that was super cheesy. Yeah. Uh, well, even the chubby guy, I can't remember his name. I, it Billy. doesn't. Uh, Billy. Billy. Yeah, he... He throws a zinger in the car, man, where he's like, oh, I'm thankful for your mom's pussy being so moist. It's like, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, man. Like, that kid would kill it. Uh, game of the dozens. You know? <clears throat> so. Oh, yeah. For having the juiciest poon in town. Yeah. And poon in town. That's right. <laughs> uh, that one was like, holy. Oh, all right. Cool. You know. <laughs> but uh yeah fun fact the uh opening actress uh she's also known for cock smoking grannies hell yeah oh, <laughs> casey with the factoid thank you sir i didn't see that one yet the uh, uh <laughs> the naked pilgrim yes yeah yeah her yeah she's uh, also known for cock smoking grannies nice not exactly I, uh, a normal horror film that's more of an adult film her name is well. I mean, she's credited as as Wanda Lust, so I don't know if that's a real name or not. But that's fantastic. Sound like Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> that's her performer name. That's awesome. We will thought out. But uh, I mean, one of my favorite scenes, though, I think the whole movie was where the turkey is sitting with his glasses with the fake nose and eyebrows talking to the <laughs> sheriff in the kitchen. He's like, this is fucking awkward. <laughs> so, yeah. 
uh it's that scene where the, he's the sheriff's drinking the coffee and he's like what'd you do oh, yeah. <laughs> that one i <laughs> i'll be honest yes. there's a lot of parts in the movie that, you know wasn't expecting but that one was like holy shit she's like as a matter of fact i did like <laughs> i want a fucking divorce i want a fucking divorce yeah and it's like dribbling off his chin oh god damn oh, uh, it didn't it didn't phase him in the least no no he, it's like he was ordering a pizza like it was nothing so <laughs> Good. all right then oh man but yeah it's uh just the, the one-liners alone are worth uh a viewing yeah that that the minimum you know in the um, same scene with the uh the dad and the turkey he's like uh, i wasn't worried about the uh the size of the fuck i was worried about the age of the fuck that song i was fucking the first time i see that movie i was down there in tears when the kid was saying the <laughs> my best friend. I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll say this. This, is, this movie is definitely better. I don't know if you guys seen it or not. Slinky, I'm sure you've seen it probably like 46 times. Poultry Geist. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Night of the Chicken Dead. <laughs> definitely better than that. Yes, I've seen it. <laughs> I have not. I have not seen that one. Oh boy, you <laughs> missing out. Missing out. Trauma. It's a trauma. It's Uncle Lloyd. It's a gift from Uncle Lloyd. Um, yeah, <laughs> Lloyd, Lloyd Kaufman. <laughs> um, terrible, but you should watch it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's always a great recommendation. It's terrible, but you should watch it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I want to overhype it. That's- One thing, uh, yeah, I saw. I don't know if it was what website I saw it on, either IMDb or the Wikipedia or something else. I guess there were actually no <laughs> no deleted scenes for this movie. They basically used everything they shot. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was going to say, I can't imagine what deleted scenes would be after having sat through that. But yeah, I'm like, like what, what would be left on the, the cutting room floor? What would be, you know, <laughs> God. Um, ah, man, I don't know. It's um, guilty pleasure, I think. Um, I don't know. It is what it is, man. Like it says it in the name, you know, thanks killing. Um, <laughs> you're either expecting like a bitchin' slasher flick or, uh, all right. Yeah. I want to laugh. So put this, so it's, it's, I don't know. Um, if you're in a bad mood, put it on, make you laugh, you know? Yeah. But I will right, say right. the puppet looks pretty badass. I'll give him, I'll give him. No. That. Yeah. The, the, the director, yeah, sure. The director created that, I think, in his own bathroom at home, just using like leftover shit. Fuck, that sounds wow. scary as fuck. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I Frankenstein this thing in my bathroom. He That's basically awesome. did. He also <laughs> he was the voice of it with too, which was cool. Mm. Oh, I wish mm. I could have been <clears throat> turkey. I did like the turkey's voice. I thought it was a oh, great yeah. voice for the turkey. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't know why. He just seemed so calm and everything he was saying that it was fucking hysterical. Oh, yeah. Even in the uh, introduction, when the, you first see the turkey, when he's getting pissed on by the dog, mm-hmm. he's like, I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just nobody has nobody questions the idea that this turkey's talking, you know, like it's it's normal. One, you never. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. The Florida turkey, probably. <laughs> <laughs> see? That's all. <laughs> or uh, one of my other favorite parts is where for some reason the guy the turkey's in the field and the guy pulls over in the car to pick it up like it's a, the turkey's a prostitute yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, what? like what the fuck is going on here he goes to unzip his pants <clears throat> it makes me think of that scene in uh what is it rejects where he's like y'all ain't gonna fuck these chickens are you like, uh, <laughs> uh, i just popped in there um, <laughs> they call the chicken fucker. I, mean, I ain't no chicken fucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> so this again. This is for this is for horror fans who like B movies mm. and don't mind the very, very, very cheesiness. And I feel like this movie was like six people like us got together, sat down high and hungry, and like, yo, let's write a script. <laughs> and this is what Make we a movie, write. dude. Thanks, <laughs> but <laughs> what I like about this movie though is like it's it's what you expect. Like it's not. We've all seen serious horror movies. I'll say that in quotes that were fucking mm. terrible, terrible story, terrible everything. 
But the way this was written was supposed to be terrible. I feel like that's why it's so... This does have a, some fans. I'm one of them. But that's why I feel like it's so loved in like that horror community for the B films because it's just... It's cheesy and it's supposed to be cheesy. Like They're mm-hmm. like, okay, this is what we know how to do. This is our budget. This is, this is all we can afford. So fuck it. Let's just have some fun. And I respect mm-hmm. that. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, kudos to them. I, they were working on a budget of, I think, 3500 when they made this. And they filmed it in like 10 or 11 days. And I guess one of the big inspirations is uh, the director and his friends really started brainstorming when they were in a blockbuster, just looking at covers of cheesy, you know, terrible horror movies and bouncing ideas off each other. And then they settled on Killer Turkey. <laughs> oh, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> I don't know but if I, anybody's seen that stupid movie or Where Rooster. Oh my! I, I have yeah. not. No, <laughs> I have uh, not had the privilege. I, uh, I you know, <laughs> when I uh, luckily this was free on Amazon Amazon Prime for me to watch. I don't know how I'd feel if I had to have paid for it. But uh, <laughs> in my search, there was some movie about a killer pinata that came up. I oh, have, sur- yes. Survival yeah. Island. Survival Island. Yeah. I don't think that was what it was. Uh, maybe oh, it was. Uh, I don't know. I yeah, know, I yeah, I reviewed that not long ago. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, so it's not just called Killer Pinata? It actually has. I thought movie. it was like something like Killer Pinata or something. I don't know. There's, I think there is two of them. One's Killer Pinata. The other one's like Killer Pinata Survival Island or something. Yeah, got a second one. <laughs> I also have this. You see that? <laughs> oh, he got like the Wham Bam uh, Hootie Who Deluxe Edition. <laughs> I don't. Uh, oh shit! He's got. Oh wow! <laughs> Man. There's got a, something special in a 67 minute movie when you can get two DVDs. <laughs> yeah, well, one the other one is part three. Oh, okay. And I oh, mean, so you have the set too. Yeah, yeah. it was cheap. It was like 13 bucks for both, or like eight bucks. That seems that seems at least ten dollars overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that same set. I was lucky that it was that price and not three thousand dollars, like it should. <laughs> like it should be. Oh man. No, seriously, like I. I love these type of movies. Like I love those cheesy, corny, nobody wants to watch these kind of horror movies because they're fun. And you get you get funny one liners, you get titties usually, and you get uh you get like a, a cool, fun, cheesy kill that you won't see in any other movie because the budget's so low. Like we're never gonna see any other horror movie, a serious one especially, where there's a turkey killing people ever. And that <laughs> brought it to us. Well, plus it's a Thanksgiving horror film. There's, you know, it's it's yeah. bare bones on the the landscape for Thanksgiving. I I really wish Eli Roth would make Thanksgiving Thanksgiving based off that trailer he made for Grindhouse. Mm. Uh, Let me ask you this: Let's say they reboot Thanksgiving to the current day. Oh God, who's a good voice for the turkey? Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> Motherfucker! Yeah, actually, you know what? You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, <so>. Absolutely. <laughs> you know. I uh, I mean, if we're going for a cheese factor, I'm not going to lie. Morgan Freeman popped into my head because I think that'd be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Morgan Freeman would be hilarious. Chris, and, uh, make sure Lucasfilm puts it out so you can add all the all the stuff that wasn't in it originally. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, Chris. When you said the Morgan Freeman, I thought you were going to say Nicolas Cage just to be an asshole. <laughs> Uh, don't ruin the movie for Aaron forever. The uh, white people's Morgan Freeman. <laughs> if that's what you guys want to claim, I mean, I wouldn't claim him as that, but hey. No, you need a distinct voice for one thing. Nicolas Cage doesn't have a distinct voice. No. Uh, he's, he's, got, he's got a distinct, terrible acting style, but he doesn't have uh, a distinct voice. <laughs> How about Jack Nicholson? That would be interesting. That would be kind of funny to Hear the t- <laughs> oh, wow. well, if we're gonna go all out, may as well just go Betty White. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. You know. I'm trying to think of one, but I- oh, damn, she was great in Lake Flaccid. Oh, she's my favorite character. <laughs> yeah. Alligator eats all your fucking friends. Um, I almost wore my Golden Girl shirt tonight, too. Damn, missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of an actor. Matthew McConaughey, don't you guys like him? Oh, nah, eh, turkey be out picking up bitches. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he, yeah, I know. Really, he he'd somehow make the turkey seem cool. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> hey man, why are you peeing on me, man? <laughs> oh man, it's for real? Too, too yeah. relaxed. Yeah. Actually, uh, Robert Downey Jr. as uh, Kirk Lazarus in Tropic Thunder. That'd be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every Thanksgiving, man. Like, yeah. oh my God, dude, I would die. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know. Can't think of anybody. Donald Trump. Oh, oh, uh, oh, let's yeah. let's not go down that road. <laughs> yeah. be a those, those words aren't in my vocabulary. <laughs> yeah. uh. I don't know, but uh, I mean, when it comes to other favorite scenes, definitely when he the turkey answers the door wearing the sheriff's face, that yeah. was fucking cracking up. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and the kid and uh, you know the college kids are just going along like this is clearly him. <laughs> Yeah, it's his this daughter. My yeah. and she, I couldn't do it without you. It really is. Uh, wow, because his nose looks like a penis right now. And, uh, <laughs> it's just uh, totally have to, you know, suspend your disbelief, obviously. But uh, yeah, because it's obviously the turkey. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, but yeah, no, I I give this film a lot of credit for pioneering Thanksgiving horror. That's right. <laughs> It's trailblazing. Um, so, yeah, I just, uh, I was, and it's what Thanksgiving, man, you know, should be like, all right, take Christmas, for example. There's, there's a fuckload of Christmas horror movies. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, like 18 Krampus, Krampus by itself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, Black Christmas got a uh, bunch of three of those. Jesus. Yeah, there's three, unfortunately. We'll, um, we'll say two of those. The third one, not- yeah, two. Uh, see, yeah, the third one that was, yeah, that one. Sucks. Your review on that, where I said I'd rather talk dirty to my hand for a half an hour than uh, <laughs> <laughs> watch the remake of Black Christmas again. So, but real, just on that Black Christmas, the last one that came out, if it had yeah. a different title, I think it would be a, it would have been a better movie. That's exactly what we said. We were like, you could call it uh, Santa's Pulpy Cock, and it would have been fine. <clears throat> you know, just not, uh, yeah, Black Christmas, man. So. Yeah, because nothing about it was Black Christmas. I mean, no. it was out of college. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Crimes, Cali Red wine. <laughs> Snoop Dogg's on the front. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, it's got, it's got to be good, then. It's, yeah, you, know, you know what's funny is it's a red wine, and I don't like red, you know, I don't like bitter wine, but it's smooth. And I mean, it, it's Snoop, so it has to be. Smoop, Snoop is like the coolest fucking Snoop. Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> What if oh, Snoop, what if Snoop voices the turkey? Oh <laughs> shit! There we go. Yo, the turkey would be so damn smooth and cool. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> where the hell? What, how many bottles you got? Is that the same one? No, it's the same one. I just poured the rest of it in there. That's an awesome bottle. <laughs> is it his brand? Is no, it laid? No, is it laid no, with no, cannabis? No, it's called uh, Crimes. It's called Nineteen Crimes, but they have like different. People on there. There's white people on there too. Just so you guys know. Before you-, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys are included too. That's- <laughs> he only said that because he said uh, 19 crimes. He was like, "Wait a minute, oh man, us black people are not the only ones." <laughs> like, is his rap sheet on the back of that bottle? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wish. <laughs> I said wish. You know, it's funny though, is because really quick. Last thing about this, because everybody that knows Snoop, he's a he's a crip blue, but it's Cali red. <laughs> Uh oh, that's funny. <laughs> the right. Turf war in the bottle. Turf war in every bottle. Yep. Wow. <clears throat> so right. let's. Uh, I don't know. I'm still stuck on the voice thing, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was a good question. Who's the guy that does Optimus Prime's voice? What's his name? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't remember who asked the question, but that was a very good question. I Great. think he just didn't he just pass away. I I, no I, I don't know who does it. Are you talking uh, about Phil? Like Peter Cullen, I think is oh, his name. Uh, wow, just uh, yeah, whipped out my nerd card. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I used to know it too. I forgot. Yeah, I got nothing. I can't think of nothing. <laughs> I, I still, I'm still trying to think here, and it's like no names are popping up in my head. So Kyle. At, before you watch this movie and after you watch this movie, do you look at me different for suggesting this movie? <laughs> I respect you more for 
being brave enough to pull that one out. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, no change. More like I said, more respect. I, I appreciate that you're honest with yourself and yeah, us. <laughs> I mean, that question goes all around the room. So whoever wants to go next. You look at me different for suggesting this movie request. Oh, Cause when you said it to me, I was like, nah, I already seen it. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, too so late. you're too late. Yeah, you're too late. Man. I refer you back to when I was talking about the bar being in a hole in the ground covered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I respect that. But I mean, again, like you said, Chris, more, most more than likely you won't watch it, but it's one of those movies where like, if you want to mess with one of your friends, you'd be like, like Anthony, for example. Hey. Oh, yeah. This is every anytime Thanksgiving it comes up now, I'll probably say, hey, you should watch this. And <laughs> yeah. just because I want to hear how bad they feel about themselves afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you want that text message. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I, yeah, I want that text message saying, what the fuck did you just make me watch? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you watch this? Yeah. And then I and then I will get hammered and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to I have to watch this Intoxicator. I have not watched this movie Intoxicated. Every single time I watch this movie sober and I loved it. So I can only imagine how much more I would love it if I watched it Intoxicated. Oh my! I mean, it, if it I want my sick, <laughs> one thing I did learn very early on in trying to watch this movie is if I want to be alone and have my significant other leave the room, I just turn this on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> it depends on the woman, but yeah, for the in my experience, you're right. You're 100 yeah. correct. But actually, my exact, my wife's exact words. She looked at me. She goes, "What the fuck are you watching?" Then I looked <laughs> in her eyes, and it looked like she was second guessing our marriage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got, I got that same look. <laughs> we Does, all- I don't, th- you know, and I don't think that applies to the level of your relationship. But I got that same look. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. It's because women don't know how to turn their brains off like we do, and just they know how to have fun. They know how to laugh. Ladies don't attack. <laughs> like, they don't know how to have fun. Like stu- Aaron, Aaron's email is horror at dot sir sturdy. <laughs> oh, it's horror dot, with sir dot sturdy at gmail. There you go. Uh, that's for the women out there. <laughs> or leave it in the comments. They, the back. hate the hate emails he's about to get. But what I'm saying is like we. Like us guys right here, we can watch the shittiest, stupidest movie in the world, and we'll finish the whole movie cracking jokes. Not all, but a lot of females will put on that same movie. Why the fuck am I watching this? Take this shit off, girl. Put on Grey's Anatomy with a snap. Grey's Anatomy. <clears throat> I, I didn't have to do I watched it with my wife last night, and well, she fell asleep halfway through, but. I don't blame her. <laughs> <laughs> At least she didn't hit that's, you. It's again, that's impressive. No, exactly. It's impressive since it's an only an hour long. <laughs> I know. Yeah. That's the thing, though. I, I watched it high, and the last 10 minutes, and I, I recall looking, 10 minutes left. Actually, that's one my way fell asleep. That's when I checked. <laughs> um, 10 minutes left, it felt like an hour. It felt like a freaking hour. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I hate to be that guy, but the last 10 minutes, while high, felt like it was an hour long. True, and I'm sitting there, and one of the things I couldn't get over towards the end is like clearly the uh, the the athlete and the one girl have both had their parents murdered by this turkey, but they show no emotion literally after yeah. right after <laughs> discovering their bodies, like they've moved on with their lives already. Their and, I think, dead. Yeah. <laughs> and even at the end, where they're sitting on the couch, and the guy's like, "I may have lost my parents tonight, but I gained a girlfriend." <laughs> and he looks fucking I'm like what the fuck I just chopped it up to call <clears throat> this. I'm it's kind of like when you're watching one of the BET movies like hey, well, it's black so hey, you know or, or you know the fact that even after your parents get murdered you suggest hey why don't we w- go watch a movie instead doing anything <laughs> listen we can't tell people how to grieve and we got a message uh, or a comment Brittany Nicole said uh, <clears throat> I said what the fuck to this movie a lot to a lot of movies, but uh, <clears throat> with this movie, you're saying what the fuck? It's like a good what the fuck, like yo, what the fuck? But you're happy because you're saying it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I make her watch a lot of the shit I watch on the uh, the shit Slinky made me watch. So I can <laughs> All right, Chris, I got it. See, hang on, KC, I got it. Did I get it? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Again, only <laughs> only, of- only two letters. Yeah, yeah. You make her watch a lot of stupid movies. Okay. 
my question to you is do you wear makeup to like hide the black eyes <laughs> when you're no nah, no nah, i don't uh i'd say the worst one is probably gorgasm oh <laughs> uh, yep that's penetration <laughs> you know what it is i figured it out we watch when, when we watch these stupid movies with our ladies if they get mad at us or not or leave the room we do it out of love this is this this is our vulnerable movies it's like you know this is I, like your lifetime movie is that what you're getting at <laughs> Hey, listen, listen, listen. I'm on record saying I love Lifetime movies. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you take my man card for the week if you want to, but they have inter- they they entertain me. They're good. Yeah, but I mean, most of the Lifetime movies involve a woman getting beaten by a rod. It's usually Meredith Baxter from uh, <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> the show, the sitcom from the '80s. What, what, what you just said, a woman getting beaten by a rod. Mm-hmm. Did you watch porn? Not that type of rod. Yeah, no. A different <laughs> beatdown altogether, sir. That's a, different beatdown. <laughs> it seems to be lifetime seems to be the less enjoyable beating than porn. <laughs> Very true. But lifetime it, it it just they draw me in and it's always somebody you know what it is? I got my fucking lifetime drink right here. I'm drinking some wine like them on the movie. Out of a giant pint glass. That's that's it's classy. <laughs> yeah, so it has to be close. Pinky Pop that pinky classy. out. Pop that pinky out. It's out. <laughs> Not too. Oh man, that's good. <sighs> but again, like I, I don't know what it is. <clears throat> I have like a weird obsession with this movie. I watch it about three or four times a year. Why? I I don't know to this fucking day. I think I'll hopefully I figure this out. Well, all right. It's got tits. It has gore. It's a true kind, kind of a horror movie. It's got fucking puppets. Um, it's short. There you go. I know yeah. why you said that puppets because when I was a kid, I liked the Muppet Babies. You're a genius, man. You're you're good. You're good. I know, dude. I know. I <laughs> wish I wish people fucking saw that. Uh, yeah, it's got a lot of great one-liners. <laughs> exactly. Like he goes and kills that one dude with the axe, and then uh, ends up fucking that chick, and then he's like, "You just got stuffed." <laughs> the friends show up <laughs> and they find the, the uh, extra small. Dude, I came off the couch condom. laughing at that part. That but, was uh, that was definitely a highlight. Sorry, I can't see your name, but uh, Lifetime, someone said Lifetime is good for when you need a great cry or a good cry. I don't know if that's now, I don't know who made this, who said that message because I can't see it on my restream thing, but um, I don't know if that's the male or female. <laughs> but I don't, I don't feel, I feel like, again, I feel, I, I'm guessing it is a female, and if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, and I'm not trying to be judgmental, <laughs> but I don't feel like guys put out a movie for like a good, like, I need to cry, girl, I need to cry today. Put it on, let's go. <laughs> I gotta That'd be the notebook. I, I gotta stop doing that. I'd be the notebook. I actually put on Night of the Living Dead 30th anniversary with the added footage. That makes me cry. So you know what movie almost made? It wasn't even. It was a documentary. I got a little choked up. My wife had teary eyes, and I got you know like that thing in your throat, but you don't let it out. Yep. Yeah. It was Kane Hodder's documentary because I'm I'm a huge Kane Hodder fan, and then like the part where he's talking about how um for a stunt he set himself on fire for one of his movies or whatever. And yeah. that went bad, and he was in he was in the hospital for months. Yeah, third degree burns. It yeah. was good. It was good because he was crying in it, and it's like that's Jason Voorhees crying. How can <laughs> I not cry? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where I was going with that. Freddie I mean, versus Jason makes me cry. I've had that feeling. I did. I know I have. I just can't remember what movies have done it. Pretty Woman. That's <laughs> up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to seem heartless. But I don't cry in movies. Never. I I <coughs> have you seen the notebook? You, you've never got I've seen, you the, seen notebook. the notebook. <laughs> I've seen the notebook. You don't make me cry. Makes him really. Yeah. That movie's so sad. Like yeah, Guardians no, of the I, Galaxy. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm telling you, Guardians of the Galaxy. When that tree dies, man. Woo. <laughs> That's you. What about? Uh, yeah. First time. <laughs> Slinky. What? I've had I've had my oh, eyes crap. water, but I just can't remember what did it now. Like I had people around me, like everybody, like tears going down their face. Like for example, like the movie Art Mageddon. Mm-hmm. and I look at them. Well, what the fuck are you guys crying for? Nicholas Cage makes me cry. Oh, that's just <laughs> bad acting. You just I, feel yeah. sorry for him. The part in the everybody, wig- all his friends in bear suit punching women for twenty minutes. <laughs> just I I get choked up and I can't fucking no. Nah. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, actually, his hair plugs make me fucking cry. <laughs> you know. oh, that's real hair, guys. Don't be disrespectful. Wait, oh, f- come on, man. Come on, no. Dude, one of um, 
I can't stand the, Nicolas Cage. I can't stand the guy. Who to- whoever told him he can act needs to be fucking beaten with a pulpy dildo. I agree. <laughs> like, I just till they stop fucking moving. I agree. Yeah. He yep. has his own acting style. Oh, God. It's the same for every movie, no matter what genre. Horror it does, or- yeah, it doesn't matter. It's Nicolas he, Cage being Nicolas he, Cage. You, you know what you're getting when you hire him. No. I'm not going to lie. The only movie I can watch with him in it is Con Air. No, not even that. Oh, like, yeah. He's raising Arizona because he's acting like a bumblefuck. Like, you know. Con Air was great. But Con. Come on. I mean, The Rock. That mullet is. Uh, and then face off. Face off was all right. Too. Face off. Bitch. Damn it. If you want to go back to when he was, you know, winning awards, leaving Las Vegas. Mm. Gone in 60 seconds. I don't. Oh, buy I forgot it. about Gone in 60 seconds. I don't seconds. buy it. He doesn't sell me. He's not like, all right, an actor is supposed to be a chameleon. You're supposed to like blend. You're supposed to not see them in the part that they're playing. Yeah, become uh, their own character for each role. Forehead coming through everything. Like, yeah, he, he's someone that's I become don't buy that he's leaving Las Vegas. I don't buy that he's got snake eyes. I don't buy that he's the Lord of War. I don't buy that he's in a bear suit punching women. I don't buy that he knows wait, wait. jitsu because that new movie that keeps popping up on the damn um Mandy like Amazon commercial shit or whatever. What is it? Yeah. Him being a fucking dude. Fuck you, Nicholas Cage. Exactly. And it stinks because I'm such a Lovecraft fan that the, what is it, the color of space. Yep. Yeah, I didn't want to check that out. I want to see it, but I'm just kind of like, fucking Nick Cage. I, I, well, I picked three Nick Cage movies at random to make Aaron watch, and he did. He did. <laughs> no, you call he did. What, like 10 minutes of it? No, I, I actually watched all three of those movies. It was on the Popcorn and Pints episode. episode oh, two. I watched. I was supposed to join you guys. I watched them, too. Yeah, oh, that's right. Come up. He just didn't want. He, you know what? It was? But, you know what? I had to watch these movies, and I think he watched them all in one day. I don't know why he did that to himself. Or, but did you do that? Yeah, I did. All three of them. And you watched <laughs> like a week's worth of Nicolas Cage movies. Well, I watched one night for five nights. One a night for five nights. Wow. Oh, did that? God. Oh. And I'm talking. I'm talking Nick Cage movies that no one knows exist. That's a survivor. That's story. true. That's true. You're 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 a brave man, Chris. Like yeah, that, yeah. like that type four movie when all the parents are killing their kids. <laughs> that was <Yeah>. so bad. <laughs> you know, I will say this though: what was the the poli- the cop movie that he was in? Oh, the bank heist one. Yeah, wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, <laughs> I just found too many loopholes, and he didn't. I think it was better for you because he really didn't talk that much. Well, that guy, <laughs> that works. Well, you know he's got a, he's got a, he's working on a movie now. Other than the Tiger King Amazon series, he's playing. Uh, oh yeah, Tiger King. He's playing, he's playing right? Joe Exotic. Yeah, yes, he is. son of a bitch. Is that for like a movie? <laughs> that one's that one's an Amazon series. At least just one season, maybe. I don't know how how it's they not- plan on doing that, but it's got to have like eight episodes at least. But he's also doing a movie where he plays the exaggerated, you know, out of out of luck actor version of himself. Oh, God. oh, he's gonna! Oh, he's gonna see himself, and he's gonna go. What the fuck was wrong? If only, with me? yeah. If only. Like we we have to live in some kind of weird alternate reality. In fact, oh, you'll and, enjoy the name. I think it's the oh, unbearable God. weight of massive talent. Oh God, what a pretentious <laughs> oh, wow. douche! Ah, uh, he needs to be like a manager at uh, Denny's somewhere. That's that's what he should be doing. Like you know, acting crazy to the Denver omelet. You know, you really want to watch him or have him watching over your food? I don't think so. No, absolutely. Not. <laughs> oh God! I, listen, I'll say this real quick. Shout out to any last words. Thank you for watching. Um, she said, "Ill Nicholas Cage," and um, actually at eleven eleven o'clock Eastern time, Eastern time, people go to the <laughs> last words Facebook page, and on her show, they're actually doing a live Thanksgiving. It's like a Thanksgiving marathon today. There was a show earlier before us, and there's a show now us, and there's a show after us. And oh wow! Sweet. It's happening. Macy's <laughs> Thanksgiving Day Parade. Yeah. Well, it was a perfect movie for this time of year. So yeah, you know. And I'll say, thank or not Thanksgiving. Nicholas Cage, just to get oh, off before you get before we get back to this beautiful movie, <laughs> Nicholas Cage. I feel like he would be, and I hate to say something nice things about this man, but he would be a better voice actor. I feel he'd be a better voice actor for like a weird, crazy character, so you wouldn't have to see his fucking face. He does, uh, dude. He does a lot of voice work. I think. I don't even know. Yeah, he he voice worked Ghost Rider into the fucking ground. So yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he was in um, 
He was that noir Spider-Man in Into the Spider-Verse. He's in the Croods movie. He's done some actually high gross and animated movies where he's done oh, some I've voice seen, I've seen that uh, Spider-Verse. I didn't even know that was him. Yeah. yeah, I had no idea he's in it now, and but now I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, no, you just ruined it. Damn it, that was a good movie. Thank you, man. You fucking just pow, shot that fucker in the back of the head. <laughs> uh, so now, yeah. what, what other horror movie is based on Thanksgiving? I'm trying to think, and I'm blanking. There's one called, one that I know, I reviewed it a couple weeks ago, which it'll be out soonish. I got a lot of fucking reviewing to do, people, so if you did an episode with me in the past, this fucking past pandemic and a little beforehand, I'm getting them there. I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, punk. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's not kidding. <laughs> He's they're yeah. one of them. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. So I'm working on that. And uh, yeah, like I said, you know, I can go for right now some chips and dip. Wow, that was random. It was like a wow, half baked. Nice. <laughs> 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 I don't yeah, know. no, there's there's not a lot of Thanksgiving uh, yeah. armies that I can think of. Yeah, there's one other one. I'm trying to think of it. It's about like a brother that escapes like a mental institution. There's, um, I actually I shared a post from the Any Last Words page of um like seven Thanksgiving movies, hmm. and I only remember Thanksgiving. Blood Rage and Poultry Guys. They count it as a Thanksgiving Thanksgiving movie as well. Which fucking Blood Rage is well thinking of. Blood Rage was awesome. Mm. Blood Rage was really I've never seen that movie before. Well, I mean I watched it one time, but I'm saying before that I never seen it. And that was a really good fucking movie. Like I I seriously highly recommend Blood Rage. I be- believe it's on Tubi for free. If you don't know what Tubi is, you can go to Tubi.com. Download on your phone or whatever stream, you know, whatever device you use, or put it on your laptop. The Mutilator, under the title Fall Break, maybe. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I think Fall that Break. One. Even in, when you watch the movie, the title still there. They didn't take it all the way. <laughs> that's an awesome opening song. Hell yeah, dude! Oh, dude! Every time, Quick every time, it's magic. I got, I got another roundtable question for everybody. Worst horror movie you've ever seen. The worst. Like that one movie, you're just like, fuck you. Why did I watch this? You already know my answer. The worst. Ooh. Well, probably the same as yours, is it? Bl- bl- uh, fucking Blood Lake. <laughs> that fucking piece of garbage. Blood Lake was pretty bad. I, I hate that movie with a passion. Like, I got angry watching it. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the only one, man. He had a fucking pocket <laughs> knife and he looked like a fat Freddy Krueger. He had like a <laughs> Freddy Krueger sweatshirt on with a fucking. Doofy ass hat. They okay, yeah. have, it was a whole video of them skiing for twenty five minutes. We we have a comment, right? And I know huh. there's there's gonna be two people who are gonna laugh at this in this in this circle because they know. <laughs> Her name is Brittany. Brittany Nicole said the butcher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, the butcher is the worst movie I've ever seen. That's a piece of shit. Um, gee, and you know, a re- uh, review about the butcher, if I'm not mistaken, um, he incurred the wrath of the director. <laughs> YouTube channel, check out the shit Slinky made me watch, and I believe Chris did a review on that movie. And from what I remember, I don't think he liked it, but go check it out for yourself because it's a very entertaining channel. Check that shit out if you can't find it and you still want to experience. The film, put your junk in a drawer and slam it shut. Oh. <laughs> there you go. I was gonna go back to childhood when you were, had the footy pajamas and you just zipped your meat up in there. Oh. Did you get the beans above the frank? Like holy <laughs> shit! Um, I don't know. Uh, she I came out with the butcher man. Uh, the creeping terror. I don't think I've seen that one. You don't want to. Made I made him watch that shit. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say, I've seen a lot of your videos. You say that. What about the killer couch or the bed or something? It, oh, it's uh, like that a, was a uh, deathbed. Dyson bed with movie. a sheet thrown over it. Um, oh, you know what? <laughs> James, because you picked that movie, I'll pick Deathbed. <laughs> bed was fucking terrible. And I remember at the beginning of the movie <laughs> where 
somebody's dying, and it looked to me, it looked like uh, which what I had this on my YouTube channel, Horror Research Thirty. What the fuck, the search thirty just watched? I believe I did it on there. Which that segment is going to come back, but um, there's like a part where the person's like sinking in the bed, but it looks it looks like it should be like a a beer commercial because it's like an apple. On the bed, oh, like it, and it looks like beer on the water. You know, it looks like beer. It's so fucking weird. They start and- eating fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but that movie, I'll say, I'll say, Deathbed is the worst horror movie I've seen, just because James picked uh, Blood Fucking Lake. And I'll throw a bonus. I will say, um, 102 Days of Some Sodom or whatever. That's a 120 movie. days. Of oh, Sallow. Yeah. 120 Days of Sodom. Yeah. It's the Marquis de Sade. That was just gross. <laughs> it's, yeah. <clears throat> Comes out with like a platter of shit. Mm, just like mom used to make. Aw. It's gross. The movie's just, I mean, well, it's based on the writings of the Marquis de Sade. So, you know. Uh, and then for uh, Kyle, I'll go to you next. Um, in recent memory, I haven't watched yeah. any of those ones that you guys have mentioned. Um, Big Top Evil. I don't know if y'all have heard of that. Big, big Top Evil? Yeah. And then you guys heard of that? Okay, so, basically, it's... I can't remember. Kids get lost or something like that. I end up at a circus, and it's kind of like a cult-type setting thing. But just they, they tell you Bill Mosley is like the, the lead, but he's in there for maybe five minutes. And it's mm. just like a monologue scene that's this. But everything else is just like terrible, terrible. <laughs> everything. I don't want to go into specifics with it, but like there's one specific act sorry, one specific actor uh, in it who's just like cringeworthy the entire way through and you're just like, just kill him off, just end it, you know, it'll get better from here. It just it, it doesn't. <laughs> mm. Rick, what about you? Who me? Yeah, because I had you watch. I had you watch this masterpiece. Well, what's the worst horror movie you've ever seen? Honestly, man, I don't watch a lot of horror movies, so I don't know. I uh, okay. So for you, I'll say, what's the worst movie you've ever seen? If you have, I'm gonna go with Two Girls, One Cup. I, Ooh, <laughs> nice. I said worst. <laughs> I, said, I mean, that was a horror. That's a horror movie, right? It, it, oh yeah, <laughs> horrified me for a fucking year. No, horror. Time. But, well, <laughs> it depends, it depends hey. who you are. That's some people. Mm-hmm. Soft I mean, I mean <laughs> just just to piss off Anthony, uh, Nicolas Cage movie, The Wicker Man's categorized as a horror movie and one of the I worst. Almost threw that out there, man. I almost <laughs> threw that out there. Not the bees, not the bees. I totally That's forgot how about that stupid ass movie. <laughs> I love how you said just to piss off Anthony. We love <laughs> Anthony. Go check out his podcast. Fuck, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great name for a podcast, guys. Fuck, right, what's yeah. it called? All right, yeah. Changing all our shit now. What a dick. Video there you go. Crosstalk. That's gold right there. Video Game Cross. Go check out Video Game Cross Talk. Everywhere you can listen to podcasts. YouTube. Oh, did I say Anthony? I meant just to piss off Aaron. <laughs> um, You did say Anthony. Yeah. But, uh, no, that doesn't hit me because you said I've, I've had a few beers. You didn't say best. You said worst. I want. I just wanted to bring up Nick Cage again. Oh, that's, <laughs> people make mistakes, Chris. You know <laughs> that. I'll tell you a big mistake. One of the biggest mistakes America ever made was not putting the two girls one cup that cup in a museum and just. Oh God! It. Boom! Back to Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> See that? That that's how you segue. I was talking about <laughs> shit. Some people think this is a shit movie. I don't. I enjoy both movies. Um. <laughs> The guy in the turkey suit. That makes me just a little bit want to dress up like a turkey every Thanksgiving and just eat. <laughs> Why have you not right. done that? I know. Yeah, you should be dressed like a turkey right now. What the fuck, man? I know, I, really. I, I don't have that outfit. It, it will call you jive turkey. <laughs> I prefer chocolate turkey. But chocolate. Yeah, because I'm a chocolate turkeyologist. So, so you, okay, you could turkey, do that. A, a turkeyologist? <laughs> By say? the way, that was another line that made me laugh is when he's telling the story and he's like, turkeyologists refer to it as thanks killing. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's right. I mean, see, when us turkeyologists get together on like a Zoom call, it's like all the 50 states and we include Canada as well, so it's 51 different people. That's one thing we discuss. 
and we're all eating cranberry sauce. And, you know, that's, you know, I, I'm telling you guys a little bit too much. I don't mind getting kicked out of the group because, you know, I do this shit all the time. I fuck up. <laughs> but us turkeyologists, the, like that, you guys think that was a puppet turkey? That was a real turkey. The turkey is mind angry. blown. Mind blown. <laughs> He's a great actor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, phenomenal. Better than Nicolas Cage. <laughs> really? I'll replace him and gone uh, 60 seconds. I wonder what his contract said to not shoot him from the waist down. <laughs> his contract said, uh, uh, I look short on camera, but I'm really six foot seven. Says I had to bring that milk crate with me everywhere and stand on it. Mm-hmm. You know, you can still you can still dress like a turkey for Easter if you're going to call yourself chocolate turkey. Then you're just candy. <laughs> then I'm candy, sweet like candy. I taste just uh, candy. That's your call next year, Aaron. You got to get a costume. You got to wear a costume. You got to play the shaft song. <laughs> He's a bad motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh man, this I love episodes like this with these ridiculous ass movies because we can talk about whatever the fuck we want to talk about because these <laughs> movies are so so ridiculous. The conversation gave him could get even more ridiculous. <laughs> so, I have a question for everybody. I think I do. What is a horror movie you're thankful for? And by that I mean like that one mm-hmm. horror movie that you can always go back to. That one horror movie that just like. Fuck. Like it could be serious horror comedy, whatever your favorite genre is. That one horror movie where just like it just brings like maybe a good memory to you or whatever. For me, I'm gonna say Friday the thirteenth part seven. I could say the whole franchise. I'm gonna use that because like I remember remember when the first DVDs came out when it came out on DVD for the first time that I don't remember what year it was. But my I don't remember how we got to the mall. I don't know if my mother drove us or if we took a bus back and forth. But uh, I remember my brother Henry and I, we went to, I want to say Colony Center, which is in upstate New York for you guys that don't live in like the capital region. And we went to Colony Center. I bought the DVD. <laughs> Funny thing, I just remembered. I remember I had a $100 bill on me. I think the DVD was about 80 So I gave the lady a $100 bill. You know, they put it up in the light. <laughs> I looked at my brother. I was like, yo, the only reason I do it is because we're black. The only reason she's doing it is because we're black. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Anyway, we got back. I think it was like a Friday. It was in the summer because school was out. And we watched. I remember we go back home. And uh, there was like where my mother lived. There was like a, a Hess gas station. Like literally like if you crawl, you can cut through the backyard and go. It's right, literally right up the street. Yeah. I went up there to get. I got energy drinks and like chips and candy and shit. And so I cut through the yard, I went up there, and I came back, and it was a big ass tree in my mom's yard. And I don't remember if he grabbed me. I know he yelled. My brother, I guess my brother hid behind the tree, and when I came back, he just like jumped out, scared the shit out of me, which was fucking hilarious. But um, like just watching that franchise brings back memories like that, and just watching this as a kid on the USA Network. And it's one of those movies where it's like my, my go to of like, oh, fuck, I want to watch a horror movie. What well, I don't know what to put on. Let me throw on a Friday the 13th movie. As a matter of fact, let me start from part one and go through the whole franchise, including, you know, the indie scenes, the indie movies that I've seen. So I'll say Friday the 13th. So what movie or franchise is like that, that thing, you know, that you're thankful for, so to speak? Ooh, I'll go because I want to backtrack to a movie I hate, and that's the Blair Witch Project. Oh. I fucking hate that movie. I, I wish it never happened. I, I'm with you on that one. It's a 10 for Aaron. Yo, I fuck it. I see. Okay. Really quick. And then you guys can all go next. I promise. But really quick, just because I have to. Is it rebuttal? I, I tried. Re- I tried to block that out of my head. I hated it so bad. Oh, Brittany oh, said, wow. it, Brittany said any, any Rob Zombie movies. And I respect that. Um, fuck, man. What the hell was I saying? No, oh, damn. <laughs> what, what movie did you say again, Chris? Really quick. Blair Witch Project. I love that movie. First, yeah, first, first time I did a podcast on it a couple weeks ago with James, which we did go live on it. That movie was a 10 out of 10 for me. And I had the mindset of back in the day when the movie first came out, like there wasn't movies like that before. And I was high when I watched it, which shout out to my brother, Henry. He's the one who told me to get high when I watch it. Uh, there were two <laughs> before that. Go ahead. <clears throat> I was like really focused in the movie. And it was like, it was just like one of those movies where I... I mean, some people might say the acting sucked. I thought it was good. 
And what I liked about it, again, it's the found footage. So it'll be like, again, I'll just use us six in here, five in here, because Kyle must have, I don't know what happened. Kyle, Canadian internet. Drake started <laughs> fucking sucking all the internet up. Fucking bastard. <laughs> Be bastard. But uh, that's for you, Henry. Fuck you, Drake. But um, anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man, I keep going on these rants and I forget what, <clears throat> what I'm talking Blair about. Which project? Why you liked it? Oh, thank you. Why I liked it was because of, like, us us guys going into the woods with the camera. It was realistic in the aspect and of of it being a found footage movie. So it wasn't perfect. Like it would be like inexperienced people with a camera going in there or experienced to an extent going in there, just kind of figuring out, look, is this, is this story true? Let's bring a camera, let's record it. And I mean, I think because I do a podcast now and I remember I used to have a video camera as a kid growing up. I used to like doing like wrestling videos and shit, but I used to like doing like all kinds of stuff. I used to be, I, but I like being behind and in front of the camera. And this was one of those type of movies where everybody was behind and in front of the camera. Again, like I said, a bunch of friends kind of going out in the woods trying to figure out that that legend or that story in your town slash neighborhood. I know it's connected to New York. And from Skank New York, ours is uh, the Banana Man, Vale Cemetery. It's not Cropsey. <laughs> it's it's Aaron running around in a banana hammock. The camera. <laughs> or the camera. But But, yeah, so, again... To everybody, everybody in here, what's that one horror movie you're thankful for? That horror franchise you're thankful for? I mean, I hated the Blair Witch Project, but if we're going for something I'm thankful for and the a looser definition of horror, I'm going Evil Dead, the franchise. Uh, particularly, Army of Darkness is just one of my favorite fucking movies ever. <laughs> Brittany, really quick before you go, Casey. Yes, I got your name right. She said uh, a movie I'm not thankful for is. The Night of the Living Dead. Thanks to Chris. <laughs> yeah, we've watched that movie a lot. Probably partly my fault. It is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> With that being said, Casey, what's that horror? What's that one horror movie you're really thankful for? I have to say, uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, that was great. And why is that? It's a movie just like you can throw on at any time. Just watch. It's it's funny. It's a classic. There's so many great scenes. Popcorn guns. I mean, what's not the life? Has an ice cream truck in it too. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> James. Well, I was I was gonna go with Evil Dead too because it's popping my head. But no, uh, you can go with Evil Dead. She said, "Yeah, man, not thankful for Evil Dead." Oh, Chris, Chris. Oh, no, yeah. He, he no, said, I'm thankful for Evil yeah, Dead. He's thankful for it. Army of Darkness was the favorite one, he said. He liked the whole yeah. franchise. But um, I like the Evil Dead, too. Um, but also, like, the classics. Like, I could watch Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street, like, any time if it's on. It just... It's like the one of the, um, the first horror franchises I ever got into. It was like, those two, it was, like, back-to-back. -back. I think I started watching both of them around the same time. Um... But yeah, that's like the only ones I can like, oh, this is on. I can keep it on. That comes top of my head. But I'm sure there's others I just can't. It's not popping up in my head at the moment. Thanks, sir. How about you, sir? Uh, see, <clears throat> this is a, like a really good question. And uh, he's going to go back to a movie from when he was like six years old in the 90s. Hey, that's fine. Hey. You know. <laughs> um, well, it, it has a couple. I have a couple answers. Um, just. Yep. Friday, the Friday the 13th, the original, just because of what it's done for the genre. Um, you know, that movie and a couple other ones made Tom Savini a household name. Uh, it's a revenge driven slasher. It's a mother going after her pound of flesh for her kid. Um, but the one movie I can put on no matter what, I've probably seen it 500 times, and that's not even an exaggeration, is uh, Night Living Dead 68. Uh, that movie changed everything. You know, uh, we wouldn't have zombies as we know them now if it wasn't for that movie. Um, it was shot shoestring budget. And in the 60s, when horror movies. When you watch a horror movie from the 50s and 60s, there's long takes in the movie. There's not a lot of cuts. And Romero edited that movie. Where there's so many cuts in one scene, you know, it's uh, it it's exceptional you know even to this day it still holds up um he was a pioneer and he put a black guy as the main hero you know 
um, and it came out in the 60s, 68, during the civil rights, you know, period, if you want to call it that, where everything was just shit was hitting the wall, man. And uh, it's just a good movie. It's an excellent movie, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, That's one I put on any time and watch, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Pretty my girlfriend, is a, mm, she can't stand that movie because I watch it. <laughs> yeah. I like that. No, I like everybody's answer. It's it's one of those things as like a horror fan where, I mean, you throw anything on there and we're, we're at least going to give it a watch. We're going to give it like that fucking, you know what I mean? That one, that chance. And we'll recommend bad movies to people. Like, un- unlike any other, I feel like any other genre won't do that. But for I'll do that if I like you, and I'll do that if I don't like you. <laughs> exactly. It's like, yo, this. <laughs> then, the, I mean, yeah, that's the indication of your recommendation. If whether <laughs> that's how you know if you like someone. Yeah, like, like Leprechaun in Space. Motherfucker. Uh, I forgot about the Leprechaun oh, movies. God damn it, Chris. I mm. enjoy them. I got to see Leprechaun in Space. That's actually something I'm looking forward to. I haven't seen that one. But I enjoy them. Leprechaun in the Hood, all that shit. It's, it's, I didn't see in I didn't see in the Hood either. I saw like one and two, and that was it. Oh my god! You know yeah. what's funny about in the Hood? I wish I remembered the words. They use some big ass words in that movie for no fucking reason. They use like Google words. <laughs> yeah, and he has his own rap song. Um, son of a bitch. <laughs> no, listen. Uh, I'm such a night fan. Uh, we went to the Evans City Cemetery, and I got rocks from the road nice. oh yeah i'm a freak um yeah so but yeah hey, I'm, a, I'm a huge bruce campbell fan so i gravitate back towards the evil dead movies uh it was love evil dead too love evil dead it's great and i think army of darkness was one of the first i mean campy in the horror type genres that just really fucking hit me i'm like this is just all around fantastic i mean i grew up in the 80s and 90s so i've course knew you know freddie and jason and stuff i was never huge into slashers i've always gravitated more towards like the supernatural type horror stuff when i have watched stuff like i really enjoyed the conjurer and movies for something more recent yeah but you know that's that's kind of the path i've gone to when i've wanted to watch horror plus ash is such an asshole and oh he's fucking great season. yeah and it's funny and like, you know, he, kind of bumble his way through shit you know what it I mean? is and I really enjoy those campy type horror movies, you know, yeah. B-level Bruce Campbell movies. And then if you want to go more A-list, the supernatural stuff is kind of what really intrigues me. Bruce Campbell is your guy's spokesman. That's who you guys have. We have Morgan Freeman. You guys have Bruce Campbell. I don't think that's the case. I don't think they're at the same level. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not. But I mean, Bruce Campbell, if you're one of those people who like these cheesy type of movies, boom, Bruce Campbell's your guy. Now he's a whole cheesy, you can't forget, uh, dead alive. Oh yeah, I kick ass for the Lord. <laughs> you know what? That, you know what's funny is that's actually one movie for the first time in a very long time that dis- I loved. It. I thought it was fucking amazing. It disgusted me a little bit. Is when the, the the mother's ear falls off into the fucking porridge. When they're popping those boils in the fucking porridge, that's when I'm like, oh, yeah. oh that, 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 that was porridge scene is what <laughs> fucked with me. Also, movie though, I highly recommend. It. I need to own. It, matter of fact, and one more scene, man. My nickname came from one of those Leprechaun movies. I think. What is your nickname? If you don't mind, cupcake. Cupcake. Yep. Oh, see, came from Leprechaun Four in space. KC answered that. That's he, 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 He's on. Are you are you two in a relationship together? Yes, we are. That's, his old that's romance. That's brownie points for this man right here. He's a great man. He's an awesome man. He remembered your nickname is Cupcake from Leprechaun 4 in space because he's a romantic guy. Because <laughs> oh. when I think of romance, I think of Leprechaun. Yeah, yeah that's love. No, nah, when we were uh, watching the Leprechaun series, it was around um, St. Patrick's Day. I don't know, it was like late as shit, like four or five o'clock in the morning, and I was on part four. And uh, there's a chick in that one that uh, the military guys are watching after, and everyone calls her Cupcake. So, where the name ended up coming from. That's beautiful romance. <laughs> beautiful romance right there, guys. And I say that because he remembered that. She remembered that her nickname came from a Leprechaun movie. He remembered the whole thing. Connection. Brownie points for my guy, Casey. Right before Thanksgiving, too. That's beautiful. That's love. You guys like The Notebook? That's a love story right there. 
Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on, guys. Somebody had to say something. I, can't... <laughs> I, I, I kind of just wanted to let that sit. <laughs> yeah. I was just percolating, man. That's fine. I respect it. We could let that sit a little bit. Let that simmer. Let that, let that, you know, get that that sizzle. <laughs> I, I, I can't stop. I'm sorry. I love these shows. Holy shit. I can't fucking stop. Won't stop. Uh-uh. What happened? Took a hard hey. left. Uh, uh, jumping back to what we started talking about, did you know they made a musical on the Thanksgiving? <laughs> Wait, what? No. No, I got to see that. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there is a musical made. Uh, I think it debuted in Seattle in 2013. I don't know how far it got. I think it was described as off, off Broadway. <laughs> that that sounds so fucking lovely. I would. I I hate musicals, but I watch it. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, there there's an Evil Dead musical that I still haven't yeah, seen. There's, but there's a Night Living Dead musical. There's a yeah, exactly, exactly. So you know, horror lends itself to musicals just swimmingly. Yeah. You know. Maybe I would like musicals more if I knew about those movies being musicals. Mm-hmm. I mean, the only one I can think of that's kind of like horror is what um, a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, okay, okay, I can deal. I like that movie. Okay, I didn't like that. I couldn't even finish it. Really? Oh, it was too- I like it. It's a lot of singing, like because it's a musical, of course. But if you block out that part, I did mind it. I thought it was a good movie. And I thought Tim Curry like really did a great job. Yep. Then you got fucking meatloaf in there. Fucking meatloaf. God. Eddie. <laughs> Do you guys like meatloaf? I'm talking about the food. I'm not going to hate. Oh, meat. Oh, the food? I thought you were talking about the singer. I don't know who that is. Why are all the songs <laughs> with like 12 words in the title? Yeah, I know. It's true. Yeah. He is the one who created that. Now everybody has that shit. I uh, the I whole heard, paragraph title. Not just the food. I've heard the artist before, but what the fuck does he do? Do they make meatloaf? He sings badly. Um, no, they I call heard that song that I will do anything for love, but I won't do that. I heard that's about getting pegged. No way. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true. I like that song. And it's it, kind of like the Richard it. Gere gerbil <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get pegged. He's not into that. There's nothing. I mean, you so know, he writes a song and he's like Beauty and the Beast in the video and it's 19 minutes yeah. long. Son of yeah. a bitch. That ruined my seventh grade year. That motherfucker. He did that, <laughs> he did that for you, though, Slinky, because he knew you would fall in a situation <laughs> like that. And that's what that song was for. Finish your drink. <laughs> it, it, chug your pint glass of wine. <laughs> your fucking slurpy cup full of fucking vino. Uh, oh, Oh, that's man. funny. Whew. Oh boy! <laughs> nice Actually, touch, I'm bitch. thankful for uh, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre as well. Oh, that's oh yeah. That's well. That's one of the movies I always consider. It's the the definition of a horror movie. Like you're horrified when you're watching it. And Thank it's you. a Thanksgiving movie because if you think about it, there's a family getting together, eating. Oh yeah, we talked about this in the commentary. It's uh, heartfelt. And- I, you know. if, if that's the case, I'll retract my statement of Thanks Killing being the best Thanksgiving movie ever. And I'll say, <laughs> but I'm going to say Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 2003 because that was my favorite one, in my opinion. It's a great movie. It's yeah, it's good. It's real good. Thanksgiving movie ever. The best comedy Thanksgiving movie is Thanks Killing. Gobble gobble, motherfucker. <laughs> Come on now. Nice tits, bitch. Just. No. Yeah. See, see, on its own, has it. Nobody can. No, 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 no. Oh wait, that's not a different movie. That's a different movie. Spookies, goddamn it. Oh. How is yeah. it? Do what? How is it? Is it fucking amazing? We all right. You and I had a discussion on Facebook one time where uh, th- I think we were supposed to come on and discuss Spookies. So ah, you should you should watch it, and we'll come on and. Definitely. I'll laugh at you when your fucking head explodes. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I like some wild shit. As you guys, it's a good know. flick, man. Oh, this is this is wild, buddy. This is wild. It's a Franken film. Yeah, it's how me and Slicky initially met. Yeah. Was, that I, I I need a recommendation. Spookies, bitch. How did you? Now, now I need to know this. How did you guys meet? He just told you. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> 
No, well, I mean, were you guys at like a, a was it on Facebook? Was it at a con? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, on Facebook. I put up a post asking for like cheesy uh, horror recommendations, and then he put up a few different ones. Spookies was one of them. Yeah, Spookies, so like, Hellos. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'll go watch this one, and loved it. We've been talking ever since. Mm. All right, so I'll, I'll answer this question for KC and Slinky. Uh, I met those two somehow on Facebook on a Facebook group. We just all became cool. Fucking, I had them on my show. I was on their show, and that's about pretty much it. James, wait, James is over here. James work. <laughs> yep. It was that we worked. We worked together work. at work. Chris rehab. We were in rehab together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we met at no, we met at um a kind out here in upstate New York in Albany. We were helping a, our friend Anthony um on his podcast, Video Game Crosstalk. He was he had a table and stuff. We helped him. We met me and Chris actually. We met. I think I think it was on a Saturday. I don't remember what day it was, but we were inappropriate very fast. And Anthony was like, "All right, we God. were." It worked out well. I was trying to get you to introduce yourself to Lou Ferrigno as the Black Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> because Lou, Lou Ferrigno was there. Okay, I got a question for you, Chris. Going back to this con, the guy who did the voice for Roger Rabbit, I don't remember his name. You know how Anthony had those bracelets? I wasn't there that night. Okay. So, I, I was there the next day. So he had bracelets like around, let's just say it was around like a cup. Yeah. A cup. Let's just say it was around a cup. For people to come take one and you know put on the wrist or whatever, and one of the guy who did Roger Rabbit's voice was taking the bracelets up and just fucking picking them up and just throwing them at the table, throwing them at the table. Throw- I got so yo, I was about to <laughs> fucking beat the fucking shit out. Of I was so pissed off. I was sitting in a chair like this, and I was mad, like just what the, what the fuck. I didn't say anything, right? Because I'm at this convention. I was like, I don't want to fuck up this convention. One, I'm rep- I'm not I'm not only representing myself. But representing my good friend Anthony and my wife is sitting right next to me. And she was like, she just sitting there laughing the whole fucking time, right? He walks away, she's like, babe, she's like, do you know who that was? I was like, no, I have no fucking clue. I was like, but I was about to fuck him up for throwing that shit. I was like, I was about to flip the fuck up out of him, flip out on him. If he said anything, I was about to beat his ass. And with all due respect. And she was like, that's the, I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. That's the guy who does Roger Roberts' voice. It's like Elliot Gould, I think. And I was like, I think, I don't know. You almost beat up Roger Rabbit. What the fuck, dude? I was like, oh, well. Isn't he like 80? I don't think. Uh, no, he's not that old. <laughs> I have no idea. It's a win. And like, <laughs> like, it was that stupid male ego. Like that, that rage just built like fucking. And I don't know who he was again. So just, just imagine you're there helping a good, a good friend out, promoting mm-hmm. something for them, like being serious about it, having fun with being serious about it. And someone comes and does that shit, and you don't know who it is. And that first thing is like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. I, but <laughs> kind of, I, I was calm. Though. I was thankful for that. I was thankful for that whole experience, though, because it was my first time behind the table at a con. My first time, not my last time. But uh, yeah. So I got to pee. But thanks, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking movie was just. It was one of those movies to where, like, Again, throw it on, whatever, you have a you have a good you have a good time. Train to by the way one two. I really enjoyed the sheriff's fake mustache. I don't know what the reason in behind the fake mustache was or why he couldn't grow a real one <laughs> by the time they wanted to film that, but <clears throat> it's like the deputy in sleepaway camp. He got like it's just painted on his face. Well it's the rose. Yeah, you could definitely tell it was fake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe they did it on purpose just to make it even more cheesy. They were trying to take the attention away from the dick nose. Just kidding. <laughs> how many uh how many gobble gobble motherfuckers would you guys give this movie from a negative ten to a positive ten? The reason why it's a negative ten, why I have this new rating, is because of that fucking movie Blood Lake. Fuck you and fuck everybody involved. <laughs> well it's it's negative because he buried the bar. <laughs> I mean, I buried the bar. But what is this Blood Lake movie? That oh, you hate man. so much. Okay. It's it's called Blood Lake. It's from 1987, and you can watch it for free, people, on Tubi. I don't recommend it, but I think you should watch it because I'm never gonna tell you. I'm never gonna tell you not to watch a horror movie. So mm-hmm. go watch it for your own good. Don't blame Sir Shirty for watching it. 
Fucking terrible <laughs> movie. Chris, I think you should watch it. And make sure it's the 87 one because me and Aaron was going to do a podcast and he ended up watching the sci-fi one while the fucking Lampreys. Hmm. And he watched the... And I watched the original. I go, wait a minute, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm watching this one. <laughs> and so we had to go watch the other one. So we ended up doing both of them. I had to watch the sci-fi one. And I think we combined them in the same episode, did we? Yeah, we did. That was horrible, too. But Blood uh, 87 Blood Lake, I it just pissed me off, like I said. I think that's why I hate <laughs> it so much. Because it, uh, it's a, one movie I, I got angry watching. I can hear the anger in your voice. Wait, yeah, see what I mean? And I don't mean to. <laughs> Just by talking about it, I'm getting angry. It only makes me intrigued. <laughs> uh, I'll give it a shot. You know, I, I like, you know. If you guys can see my screen. Yeah, there he is. Look at in the shadow. It looks like a fat Freddy Krueger. This motherfucker <laughs> right here. Go watch this motherfucker. You think, think if, for those of you who think things killing is bad, which you're wrong. This is the worst horror movie I've ever seen in my motherfucking life. Ever. Fuck you for making this movie. But congratulations for making this movie because I never made a movie. So, you know, you got credit for that. But this movie was so fucking bad. Like, it, and it was one of, like, Blood Lake is a cool, is a fucking great fucking title. It's an awesome, cool, fun fucking title. But the movie was fucking garbage. Fuck this movie. Fuck everybody who made this movie. I wish R. Kelly peed on you guys instead of those little girls. That's how I feel about this fucking movie. This is why I gave this movie a point five. The only reason I gave it a half is because I give him credit for making a movie. I gave him a negative. He did have a badass car. (laughs) I gave him a negative six, but I changed that like in a later episode to a negative ten because it's the worst horror movie I've ever seen. So fuck it. Fuck you. Fuck the hole you crawled out of, which is your mother. And don't ever do anything again. Don't ever fucking make a horror movie ever again because you did a fucking horrible job in this movie. And I'm not sorry for that. I'm bad. I don't think you've seen The Butcher. I did. I've seen The Butcher. Mm. But hey, real quick, though, with The Butcher, I because it's like an indie shit, I, 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 I rate those a little different. You know what I mean? I just think it's Pretty better because sure like, there's more better indie. Uh, the butcher actually had killing, like people dying and everything. There was more action. The other one, it was like a whole movie, and there was like so much stuff in it that shouldn't be there. Like the skiing, I bring that up again because that was like literally like a twenty-minute scene of that just skiing. I was waiting for like the dude jump out of the water, like grab the girl or somebody off the skis. Nothing. It was just them having fun skiing for twenty minutes. You know, ever since Aaron said he had to pee, I've been thinking pee break. So I'll be right back. Right. <laughs> Me too, but I still have. To pee. Um, you guys, can you got, can you three keep the conversation going while I go pee pee too? I'm sure we'll manage. If not, yeah. are you sure? You got, got cancer. Right. Are you sure? I don't know. I, I don't know. I think Blanky, we I'm going to leave this on. You're going to be in charge because I feel you're responsible because you have a hat on and glasses. That's better have bail money. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, man. <coughs> so, yeah. But yeah, Blood Lake was horrible, but there was a pretty cool car. Yeah. That's about the only thing I can say was good about the whole thing. Exactly. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah. But I will not put anything above the, the butcher. That's it was just like a shitty YouTube video with like no story, no plot, <laughs> no, no I I agree. Especially that like Oh my god, there's so many parts. But like the ending was so <laughs> stupid. I, c- I can't wrap my head around the fucking ending. I'm like, <laughs> what? why is everybody dropping? I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Here, here's my thing about indie film. Uh, indie horror. All right, Just because you can make a movie doesn't mean you should. Um, it's not for everybody. Very true. You know. Um, yeah, because I love indie movies. You can see yeah, all behind me. A lot of good ones, yeah. <laughs> You know, they're not under the studio control. I, I get it. I get it. But, uh, you know. Yeah. Like, did you ever read a book before? You, know how it goes? you gotta have a fucking story that makes sense. It's just something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the very simple formula. Oh. <laughs> that Yeah, exactly. That's, that's this, in, in its simplest form, it's not, I'm not gonna say easy, yeah. but it's a simple formula. It doesn't take you know, we're not landing shit on the moon here, guys. Like, yeah. we're showing, like, oh, yeah, some gore and some tits. 
Um, so yeah. Yeah, if you want a good indie film, check out um, was it uh, Bloody Ballet? That movie is awesome. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good movie. Um, I'm, I'm always looking for something new to watch. If you like Jalos, you'll you'll dig it because it's uh has a lot of Argento influence and stuff like the way it's lit. It's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah, it's a beautiful movie. Yeah, it's well done. <clears throat> so it's on Tubi. Right? Uh, I believe it's on Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. I got that too. That's good. All right. <laughs> But yeah, yep. yeah, great, great movie. Uh, some a killer in it. Some really cool looking, creepy, like mask and everything. Mm-hmm. Just the opening shot of uh, the girl walking in the snow is really cool. It's like it's really pretty. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, but um, I don't know. How long have we been on here? Doesn't matter. Uh, uh, see, Aaron disappeared too. All right. Yeah, take, yeah, take a break. Uh, <laughs> got lost in the bathroom. <laughs> Maybe he fell down the stairs. Maybe. I hope not. <laughs> he told me I he bet. Got, he got wrecked many times up in the attic. He's, I don't think he ever told me he fell down the stairs. What are the chances he comes back with chips and dip? Oh. <laughs> oh. He did mention that earlier. Yeah. He, he mentioned it. It don't mean he has it, though. He's like, that's why it's probably on his mind. He knows he, his wife bought it for tomorrow. He's going to wake up and gone, whoop his ass. So, who has everyone else watched Thanks Killing 3? I, okay. I, I, have. I watched half of it. I never finished it. It's rough. It's rough. I mean, I, just, I saw that it was two hours. I'm like, I don't think I can even attempt that. It's mm-hmm. rough. I mean, to begin itself, for one, I'll just give you a breakdown really quick. So he's looking for the um the moot part two. Yeah. So basically, the turkey is an actor in this movie, <laughs> and he has a kid, I believe, has children. Yeah, it's like a family. But then there's a twist. I didn't watch the whole thing. I think there's a twist. He's an alien, and there's like a spaceship that looks like a dick, <laughs> or a turkey baster, or something that looks like a dick to me. Well, it might be a turkey baster. I don't know, Aaron. See, I'm, it looks I'm, like a. <clears throat> there's a clip on YouTube. I didn't watch the clip, but it looks like a, a cock puppet. And- yeah. Talks about muff diving. It's not like that. Aaron, what's the uh, turkey? It's like he wasn't like an alien at the end. Wait, what happened? What are you talking about? Earthworm Jim's fat uncle. Thanks, Killing Three. Thanks, Killing Three. The spaceship. Yeah, is it a muff turkey dive. Or is it a dick? What is that thing? I forgot. No. I think it was a dick, <laughs> an alien dick or some shit. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Piece of talks. Pretty funny. I watch that shit. Yeah, yeah, I've only watched it once, so I can't remember. I might watch it after we get off the air. I mean, oh. kudos, I mean, kudos to them. I mean, they made the first film for thirty five hundred dollars, and then crowdfunded over a hundred grand to make a sequel. Yeah, they to make out. a movie that's a lot worse, which is, is I don't know how yeah, you do that. <laughs> they used all their one liners. They didn't have nothing to go with. They're like, "Fuck, let's give it a shot, guys." Just go with muff diving. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's hey. a ton of puppets and shit. It's it's crazy. Feeling it's like, like they had to use. Lady. Probably felt like they had to use every single dime to the best of their ability, so yeah. they probably got carried away with stuff. And like what I can recall, I mean, he like goes home to his family or something. Like the scene. turkey, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah, like an actor. Like, you know, it's, it's like a job. Yeah, it's a job. He's an actor. It's like <laughs> so weird. You're, now you're making me curious. It's uh, weird. It's it's weird. You know what? <clears throat> I'll throw this out there. I will be willing to go back and watch Thanksgiving Part Three. And do a live review with this oh, crew oh. right here, including oh, Kyle, oh. if he wants to join us. I'm down. I'm down. Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do it, but it's going to be a brutal watch. But it's not it. like I have anything better to do, and I'll be drunk this time. Yeah. Perfect. Smart. <laughs> I might have to get drunk too. Yeah. <coughs> It'll help. I'm going to watch sure. it. Hard. I want to <laughs> it. Perfect. So. I don't know when we're going to do that, people. Don't ask us because we have no idea because our all of our schedules are different, but we're going to do that for you guys. It's a, I won't say it's a promise, but it's a guarantee. I feel like a prom, it's, I feel like a guarantee is like right here and a promise is like right here. Like, oh, you promised. Well, you know what? I guaranteed it, but shit happens. Well, guarantee is like a contract. Mm-hmm. You locked it in. Nothing's mm-hmm. fine. So if you, see, if you, if you got food in front of you, it says guaranteed has no aids in it. And you read it, and you thought you got AIDS. In it. <laughs> you know what? You, you do have a point. <laughs> you, you, you do have a point. 
Not where I thought that was going. <laughs> left turn, left turn, hard left. Yeah. yeah. I get what you're saying, though. Like, it, it made sense to me. That Denver omelet didn't look threatening. <laughs> oh, man. Omelet sounds, sounds so good right now. Oh, Jesus. What about your oh. chips and dip? Yeah, you lost that. He didn't come back. Well, you thought you were going to come back with, like, shit all stuck to your face and, like, a big bag of fucking oh, Tostitos oh, yeah. and shit. <laughs> like, I, I went downstairs. I went pee. Wash my hands. I had to go. I'm in the attic. I had to go all the way downstairs because somebody's in the second floor bathroom. We were taking bets if you're going to fall down the steps. No, I was good. No, I'm kidding. Came back up. Had opened the bag of Cool Ranch Doritos, my favorite fucking Doritos in the world. No, I they're really good. Those. I also <laughs> found them upstairs. They seem really good. But because I'm, hot. So, because I'm so professional, you guys know I'm a, I'm a motherfucking professional. Classy ass motherfucker. That's me. <laughs> Chug it, drink it all. I'm not crunching your ears. Especially you wash Cheeto that. dust off your fucking shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Such a quality film. Thanks, motherfucking killing. That's what it would have been called if Samuel Jackson was in the movie. Thanks, motherfucking <laughs> killing. It would have been gobble gobble, motherfucker, not motherfucker. Just switch it up a little. I just thought of a good voice. Go ahead. <clears throat> Alan Rickman. Who's the oh. I'm terrible with actors now. Hans Gruber. Fuck yeah. Still don't know. Snape from Harry Potter. Yes. Oh. The no, Sheriff of Nottingham. I don't like Harry Potter movies. I fell asleep watching the first one. So did I. So did I. Yeah. I watched them. My wife loves it, so I'm not gonna sit here and bash it, but it's just not for Surf 30. Hmm? So I, I don't know who that is, and I'm not racist people. I don't know a lot of actors and actress, actresses. I'm terrible with names. Yes, I know who Will Smith is, Morgan Freeman. You know what? I'm not even going to finish that because I'm not, I'm not making myself sound any better. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Hanks. I know who Tom Hanks is. He's a great actor. He's actually one of my favorites. Tom Hanks is the turkey. There we go. <laughs> It'd give you lunch money and walk you to your bus stop. Wilson! <laughs> How about the, uh, the guy that voiced Chucky? Oh, Brad Dourif. There we go. Yeah. yeah. What about Mark Hamill? Batman? Oh, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Batman anime series. He played. He did Joker's voice. He also mm. did the voice of Ch the newest Child's Play movie from 2018, I want to say. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I was just thinking Tom Hanks as Forrest Gump as the turkey. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. Uh, what about Ja Rule? Oh, that be that for me, man. <laughs> what I'm just saying. He's still wondering what the hell happened at Fire Festival. Yeah. Well, DMX's voice. Well, there we go. Mm. There we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but when he bark or when he gobble, turkey starts uh, barking and shit. Uh, I mean, yeah. he'll, he'll, he'll fuck up at first. He'll start barking. He'll go, oh, I mean, gobble, gobble, motherfucker. No, now yeah. we're going gangster with it. They, yeah, they, they, they'll yeah. just keep it because they they didn't delete no scenes. They'll just let them slide. <laughs> I mean, or we can go back to just because this is the last bit of my wine I have. Snoop. Hey, motherfucker. I'm a turkey. Gobble, gobble, motherfucker. Snoop, go. Oh, that'd be really he'll make, chill turkey. He'll make yeah, dude, I don't think he'd be killing anybody. He'd be getting everybody high. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's got to carry around some kind of gin and juice mixture with him. Rolling Sometimes. down the street. <laughs> smoking, mm -hmm. sipping on gobble, gobble. <laughs> yeah, fucking, he's high as fuck. The highest fuck turkey. Yes, man. Snoop, again, going back real quick, Snoop is the coolest, one of the coolest people in the world because I, I feel like Snoop is the only person in the world where he can pass you a blunt. No matter who you are, you're going to take a hit. Like yo, You have to hit it. Yeah. You, Snoop passed you you. I, I watch uh, certain podcasts that people actually did that with him, and they said you should second guess that because he don't play around. He has some shit that will put you in a coma. <laughs> Dude, he was he was employing a full time blunt roller at one point. Yep, yep, paying him a monkey lots of money. Yeah, I don't roll. I, for people that know me personally, know I smoke out of a bong or a uh, steamroller or whatever. I don't roll. I don't even know how to roll, and I get higher from the bong or the steamroller, so that's why I use those instead of the and you use less weed. Oh yeah. So um. I, don't I can't wait to hear the synopsis for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, here, here it is. Watch this fucking movie. Why? Because 
at the very least, you're going to be slightly entertained. I was very entertained, but you're going to be slightly entertained depending on your, you know, how you are with these type of movies. It's a turn your brain off type of movie. And again, I feel like, I honestly feel like, and I'm not being sexist, ladies. I feel like this is more geared towards men. This movie right here, because we are more immature. There you go. <laughs> we, 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 but not only do we do a lot of stupid shit, say a lot of stupid shit, but we watch a lot of stupid shit. Why? Because life. That's why. Because of the Rona. Yeah. Rona. Life. That's a part of life right now. This year is Rona. So we watch movies like this because of fucking the COVID 2020. Thanks Killing is one of the best things that happened in 2020. These guys, Chris watching it for the first time, that made his day. Like, <laughs> He was more excited movies from that. 2008. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I, I'm going to speak for Chris. He's so happy about watching this movie. Like, he was like, PS5, I watch this movie. He's like, you know what? I'd rather watch this movie than have or play at PS5. Right uh, well, that, that is not accurate at all. <laughs> <laughs> Very accurate, people. That's just some... That's, that's, I was thinking about my video games the whole time. That's... Uh, that's um Interference. That's, you know, somebody throwing... Something I used out. my PS5 to watch this. See? Why did he use it? Because he was like, I love both. I want to use them both at the same time. And I watched this movie. Now he's going to apologize to his PS5. I yeah, did. It's <laughs> funny. It's tainted now. You're welcome. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I just keep throwing gifts out there. You're welcome. For anybody who watches this movie because of my recon- rec- recommendation, oh. you're very welcome. And I am happy that you got the pleasure the joy, the experience of watching this. You know what I mean? You got to watch it. That's a privilege. That's a privilege. Oh, yeah. It's a movie you just put on just because you just want to laugh. I mean, and laughter is the best medicine. Yes. <laughs> laughter followed by marijuana are the two best medicines in this world. If you're legal enough to smoke marijuana, meaning 21 and up where it's legal in those states, that's where. Or medicine. Not behind the high school gym. With your buddies when you're like 13? Yeah, chewing on yep. tampons, smoking weed. You shouldn't. What the fuck? Oh, man. Wow. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, I was thinking cranberry sauce, guys. And automatically it went to tampons? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I was, you nice. know, I was really thinking of like if you dip one in here, it'll soak up all the wine. Son of a bitch. That's like cranberry sauce color. Oh, and with that, I, I hate cranberry sauce. This <laughs> fucking goddamn it. I love it. I'm more of a mashed potato kind of guy. Send me a copy of this when you're done. <laughs> All right. I got, a, I got a question for you guys here. I know white people love cheese, right? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Wrong? I, know, I, like I love cheese, man. I love, Shit. Yeah, I, cheese I, is I agree. Cheesy, yeah. greasy bitch right here. Yeah. What about eggnog? Is Hold that- on, a I love eggnog. I oh, love eggnog. eggnog is fucking nectar of the gods. Yeah, I, I, I don't it. fucking want anything to do with it. Are you? Uh, it's all right every once in a while. But I'm not a big fan, but with cheese, you can put cheese on anything. I it agree. Makes it better. I agree. Okay, so all right, people, you're welcome for all the non-Caucasoid people, aka Caucasians, which I love. Cheese is like their their that's. They love it. They'll put it on anything. You get rid of cheese, no. you get rid of white people. I'm not saying we should do that. <laughs> so, are you? I feel like the reverse side of the statement is that black people don't like cheese. No, no, we, did, no we did for a joke. We did a poll at work. Oh, okay. No, that was for like, fun. Oh, it was only it was only one person. <laughs> See, here, here's my thing with cheese. Okay, my question to you guys is: Can you eat cheese? But like, I can't eat yes. cheese by itself. All, all the time. Cheese, it has to be with like some sort of pepper. Like if I have a grilled cheese sandwich, I know it's not a grilled cheese. I have to have like salami or something on there. I can't just have cheese. I can't go. I can't grab like a block or a slice of cheese and just bite it or eat it or slice it up and eat it by itself. I have to have something with cheese. I got three different versions of cheese sticks in my fridge right now. <laughs> I eat like cheese cubes, like cheddar or like yeah. Kobe Jack or whatever. Yeah. All the time. But then there's also like cheese dips. Yep. Uh, there's all kinds of different <laughs> kinds of cheese. I mean, I mean, I'm not walking around with a block of cheese <clears throat> and stuff like that, but I I will eat it on it. There's very few things that it doesn't ha- go with. <laughs> exactly. It even goes with broccoli. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's how I got to like broccoli, actually. I can actually eat broccoli without cheese now, but I used to hate it until someone said, Here, try it with cheese on it. Then it's I got awesome. to do it. <laughs> See, I get my vegetables somehow. I just have to have it mixed. I can't have it by itself. Mm. What? It's it's good with stuff. Cheese. You, you're also the weird one. Don't like ice cream. No, that's just a milkshake. Time out. Time out. Hang on. He's he, listen. Listen. I like ice cream. I really do enjoy ice cream. But I, I'd rather have a milkshake of whatever flavor ice cream I'm eating than having actual ice cream. That's me. Yeah. Well, and I'll say this, when I have my milkshake, if I make it myself, it has to be with almond milk because black people in dairy just don't mix. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say all this shit. To bring all hey. the boys to the yard? No, not milk. <laughs> it, bring all the it doesn't bring anybody to the yard. It brings me Aaron, to the yard. Aaron, you should know, since I couldn't pull this off, I was trying to find a bakery that would make a penis-shaped cake to send to you for your birthday, yeah. but I couldn't. <laughs> we we're gonna go in on it. Yeah, we we're gonna I'm turn very to happy that you couldn't find it. And it was gonna be, you know, all vanilla, vanilla frosting, and everything like that. And the funny thing is, I Chris, I forgot to uh, send you a message because I totally forgot about this. My wife found her penis cake, her her <laughs> thing that her pan, the penis pan. She said I could have made it for you guys. Oh, and I man. said shit. Well, we can still do it. It'll just be an it'll just be an everyday penis cake. <laughs> just send it to Aaron. Aaron's like, wait a minute, free cake. Yeah, you guys can do that. Now it has a milkshake. I do love sweets. Like, I do have a sweet tooth, but it's, see, like, okay, question to everybody in here, which I know white, you Caucasian males, not the women, but the males, you guys are crazy. If <laughs> if your friend sends you a penis cake, do you eat it? Oh, we already talked about this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And just for you, Aaron, I'll record it and fuck with you, and I'll go right to the tip. And I'll lick it first. I mean, as long as it's not coconut. <laughs> like I told you, I, I, I'll I go that far to fuck with you, but it don't bother me. I'll laugh. I'll think it's hilarious. And you eat it. Well, it's not a real dick. You know what I'm saying? Even though if you're into it, there's nothing wrong with it. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's, it's a fucking cake. They do it all the time. There's, there's fucking people make uh, breast cakes. There was uh, there were some impressive cakes out there. Yeah, there's a cake that looks exactly like a baby, and the parents are cutting it. Now that's kind of fucking weird. So <laughs> yeah. James, I I was talking to somebody earlier, and I said you're you're the Caucasian spokesman. Oh, so is, is is this true? Like you guys are just eat a penis cake? Who me? If All of you. What? Well, yeah, oh, yeah. Actor, but the other oh. your, your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> My brothers. Yeah, I'm in the middle of the um, guys. I don't know, like if it had whipped cream icing on it, maybe. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's got to have the icing. I don't want, you know, just the actual cake batter baked. I need the frosting. Like, it's yeah. dressed up like a real cake. What, okay, okay. What kind of cake and what kind of frosting? I don't like sugary icing, so it's... Whip I mean, I prefer ice cream cake over regular cake, but... Uh, that works. I mean, if that's what you want. You can share yeah, it. ice cream cake is good. It'll be nice and hard for you, too. <laughs> well, Aaron, you know, uh, you had the cupcakes, but I like, uh, my yeah. wife makes a pistachio cake with a pistachio uh, that's so fucking amazing. with a frosting. It's like a pistachio buttercream frosting. Now just bake one in the shape of a penis and send it to Aaron. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> I was like, would you eat that, Aaron? Because he loves the, he loved the cupcakes. That, yo, that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just cut it so it doesn't look like a penis. That's Wait. all you have to do. You laugh at it for a second, you know, and then you cut it up. You do a fucking uh, whatever. Uh, I wouldn't. A bobby or whatever the hell her name I, is. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like because I'm mixed. All I wouldn't go to my Caucasian side and do like. You'll, are you saying you'll circumcise the shit out of that cake? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, but the, the, listen, Chris. Pistachio. I know white people love pistachios. Those are fucking amazing. The pistachio cake cupcakes his wife made for some state thing. I forgot what it was. Like a state. It was, uh, it was, a, it was one of our uh, state picnics. There you go. Amazing. I had two of them. Maybe three. I've never had that. Yeah, I went there. Go ahead, Casey. What were you saying? I was saying I've never had pistachio cake. But uh, being Thanksgiving, what's everybody's favorite pie? 
Well, the thing is, they really don't have a pistachio cake. You take like, a, well, it's a hack. I don't want to give it away. It's vanilla cake, but you add stuff to it to turn it into a pistachio. Gotcha. Yeah. Favorite. Say that again, Casey. Would you say favorite in what? Favorite so Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving what's everybody's favorite pies? Oh, pie. Okay. Are we, okay. Hang. On. Never mind. I'm not gonna go there. Um. Shit, that's a good question. I feel like that was going to be something obscene on Aaron's part. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I stopped myself. I'm, I'm trying to be more mature just for this five seconds. I got a dip, so uh, pumpkin. <sighs> Mine's blueberry. I'm white and lame. So. I'm blueberry. I'm whiter. More lame. I go an apple. I don't like pumpkin pie. Oh. Ooh. Mm. My favorite would be uh, German chocolate. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Nice. I don't like the. I don't like the shaved coconut stuff. Oh, I love shaved coconut. Oh, I'm gonna have to go black on this one. <laughs> you think you're gonna go black? What? Sweet potato pie? Yes, sweet potato pie is so delicious. And listen, listeners, watchers, whatever the fuck you are, don't tell me that sweet potato pie and pumpkin pie are the same because they're not. They're sweet not the same, pie. but it's similar. It's the similar. They're ish. They're the same color. No, that- the taste is almost. It's like pumpkin's a little bit sweeter. No, sweet potato sweeter. No. Pumpkins has like a more of a spice to it. Yeah. I like both of them also. Oh, I like them both too. I can't hate. I love sweet potato pie. Pumpkin <laughs> pie, I'll eat it if I I'll tolerate pumpkin pie, but I love sweet potato pie. I think that's my favorite. Okay. So out of the whole Thanksgiving dinner, what do you look forward to? That's a good shit, man. Everybody's gonna hate me. <laughs> okay. You go first, James, because I gotta think about that. I'm not a big fan. I'm one of those weird people. I'm not a fan of Thanksgiving dinner all around. Like, the only thing I really like, I like turkey's boring. I'd rather have chicken. I like cranberry sauce. I like stuffing. I love it. I love the rolls. Mm -hmm. And everything else, like, I don't give a shit. So what's that one thing you're looking forward to? If you had to choose. Probably the stuffing. Stuffing? Okay. Anybody else have an answer? Because I'm still thinking. I mean, yeah. uh, for me, I'd say uh, the uh, turkey legs. I love turkey legs, and then uh, broccoli casserole. Okay. I, I um, I mean, I like Thanksgiving. I don't get you know super hyped up about it like a lot of people do to jam their face full of this stuff one day a year each year. Uh, but uh, I mean, I like turkey. But my uh, my mom has this corn souffle recipe that's just fucking awesome nice. it's uh i mean i guess uh, it's like cornbread to the extreme really i guess you could say but uh you know that i do like the turkey and uh you know we're stuffing of course i like a little sausage mixed in with the stuffing yep that's what my wife makes she makes about raisins i don't mind them uh, but <laughs> i don't have to run them well, yeah we don't we don't do the raisins you yeah, never had that. salad though don't you what was that? Don't you guys do it in potato salad? Or is this just a- no? What the fuck are you talking about? What? I've heard of that, but I've never had it. In potato no, salad. I never had it. Fritz, raisin. No. So okay, when I see those jokes of you know the funny jokes or videos, it's always white people with raisins in their potato salad. I have yet oh. to see it myself with the white people that I know, and you guys are saying no too. Is it, this? I've never, be- I've never heard of such a thing. Oh, no, really? I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Ah. I, I know the one potato salad I hate is German, German potato salad. What's the? I hate uh, Amish potato salad. It's where they make it with vinegar. Mm. Ugh, it's yeah. disgusting. I can't stand it. Never heard of that. But the well, reason I said you guys are not like mashed potatoes. Ah, you don't like mashed. I love mashed potatoes. I hate baked potatoes and mashed potatoes. I can't stand them. Oh, not I love my potatoes. favorite. It's like my favorite food group. I feel. You know what? I think my favorite thing is either the collard greens or the the yams, the potatoes. What's yeah, it? I love collard greens. Do the marshmallows on top? You do it with the marshmallows? Oh yeah, hell yeah! You have to have the marshmallows on top. I think it's between that and the greens, yeah. followed by maybe the stuffing and then the cranberry sauce. I love cranberry sauce, and I love. I like it too. And I'm one of those people, which I'm gonna ask you guys this too. And thanks, killing Thanksgiving. I love what my food touches. It touches. It's like a food orgy. It's fucking <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I mix it. I'm with you yeah. on that. 
Because because there's a lot of people that are just like I don't want my macaroni and cheese touching my my, no, my yeah. gravy, and I'm like that. It's just so good when everything fucking touches and you get that one scoop, you get that nice bite of everything. You just eat it together. You're like, oh my god, I almost fucking busted. And like this tasted so fucking good. That is the be- That is my favorite Thanksgiving food right there. Just a I, mountain I, of I, everything. The KFC a, bowl. A scoop of every fucking thing. Even if you cut off the biscuit a little bit. A scoop of literally everything on that plate and just take that bite and it's like, oh my fucking goodness, this is fucking wow. This is fucking wow. That's my favorite. And I like the foods mixed. Like I, I like everything mixed together. I can mix everything together. I mean, it's all going to the same place anyway. Yeah. And I, actually, I actually have a cousin where they separate it. Like the vegetables can't touch like their potatoes. Like if someone's corn like got mixed with the potatoes, they won't eat it. I have uh, I have a cousin that way. I'm like that's that's just weird. That's weird to me. I'm like it it, is, uh, it's all on a fucking plate again. It's a food order. It's just a bunch of but food. Yeah, I'm not that crazy, but I usually do eat my vegetables first before meat. That's the only thing I feel a little weird about. But I kind of do the same thing. It. Yeah, you always save the best stuff for last. I mix it. Like again, I mix it. I do save the best stuff for last, but sometimes I just mix it and like. Is it theologically? Something logically or something <laughs> logical. <laughs> something logical. Aren't you supposed like no, seriously, all joking aside, I guess you don't have a salad and Thanksgiving. Aren't you supposed to eat like the the roughage type of food last because it's supposed to push the other food through your intestines more? Or am I uh, dude, I'm I don't know. I I don't go buy some fucking science how to eat. <laughs> science how to eat. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I th- I know you go to a restaurant, they give you the fucking salad first. Yeah, your main meals. I don't fuck. Yeah. So man, Thanksgiving, man, everything's just thrown down on the table yeah. at the same time. Oh, and by the way, I take back uh, what I look forward to. It's not the stuffing. What is it? It's the stuff before Thanksgiving dinner. It's the cheese and the crackers on the plate. Oh, all the snacks. And- yeah, the snacky stuff. I'll eat the cheese and stuff. Then I'm like, okay, I guess Thanksgiving dinner's ready. Yeah, yeah, like the cheese balls and crackers. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's not even crazy. Never mind. I'm not even- <laughs> cheese. cheese. On fucking Doritos, but if you dipped your Doritos in like nacho cheese, that's cheap. Uh, and by the way, I, I go back like you said. You guys, you said Cool Ranch is your favorite. Mm-hmm. I disagree. They have a new one. It's flaming hot. I don't like those. Remember when I, I brought them in the work the one day? Or no, Brandon was it? Me? No, I brought them in the work the one day, and I gave them to you and Brandon because I didn't really like them. I love them. Yeah, Cooler Ranch. It used to be nacho. It used to be the spicy. Sorry, it used to be a uh, Cooler Ranch and spicy nacho neck and neck. But the last time I had spicy nacho, it wasn't as spicy as it was before. So I was like, eh. That's why they they upped it. They actually have a spicy nacho. Then they got the flaming hot, and they have like a chili that has a little spice to it. I like yeah. the, pur- the purple bag yeah. one. Yeah, my, my, that's my wife's favorite. Those chili ones. Mine, like I said, but she's Puerto Rican. They like chili lime shit. You know, <laughs> la, 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 bamba, that type of stuff. They like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean that respectfully. Sure you do. <laughs> like the Takis? Yes. I got to try the orange bag and the other bags. I had the purple one, I think. Whatever one I gave you and I bought that big ass bag. Yeah. I can only have those in small, but I have to try the other ones. And listen, people, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are talking about food. What the fuck are you talking about? Thanks killing, Thanksgiving, food. Boom. All this type of food you can have on Thanksgiving. You don't have to have the traditional turkey. You can have whatever you want for Thanksgiving. We all wish you a happy Thanksgiving. And I'll say Thanks Killing is a movie I feel you should watch it at least one time in your life. And you should watch it around this time of year. Like around like, seriously, you should watch it around Thanksgiving. Maybe the day before, maybe the day of, maybe the day after. I don't know. But with those three days, you should definitely watch this movie. And oh, sure. this is this is the movie I'll bring up to people that haven't seen it and just say, watch at your own risk. <laughs> and I'll say, kick back, relax, watch it, have a nice plate of food in front of you. You know. Yeah, it's just not a very kid friendly film. Not at all. Mm-mm. I guess that depends on the type of parent you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm not judging. Do not watch this with your children, people. This is wild. I'll, if you have teenage children, maybe, maybe like 14, 15 and up. Other than that, don't watch it with your children. I'll even say, fuck it, I'll say 13. 
Oh, so 13 and up. Don't watch it with anybody under 13 years old, maybe even older. But uh, <coughs> guys, males, watch it. You're going to laugh. You're going to have a good time with it. Women, you may have a good time with it. Eat first because you guys get hangry. So eat first and then watch it. And uh, we all get hangry. See? We all get hangry. But no, it, it, it's just, seriously, it's, it's one of those movies to where you just like, you know what? I need some background noise. I need something I don't need to pay attention to that might make me give a little chuckle. Let me throw this on and go. <laughs> I loved it. Not everybody loves it. Um, With the ratings, I give this movie a 10. A 10 out of 10. I really like that movie that much for a horror comedy movie. It's uh, 10 gobble gobble motherfuckers out of 10. And what do you guys rate this movie? Oh. I'll go. Okay. Uh, for the category then and for what I what it is, mm-hmm. I would say it's a ten for what it is. Um it made me laugh. Like I I think it's just a ten for just the the one liners, the punchline. Yeah. Like it made me laugh through the whole movie. Yeah. So, uh, I, I I'm gonna go with ten. Yeah, for this one I'd give it a ten also. I mean with the budget they had and for all the laughs and all the great parts and everything, it's a it's a perfect movie. I'm gonna go seven. Uh, I mean, it had its one-liners. It entertained me enough. I mean, I knew what it was, of course, and I think they do too. But even for the level that it was, it's still uh, the worst cheesy movie acting I've ever seen. You know, <laughs> I will. I will say this, Chris. You gave it a better. You honestly gave it a better rating than I thought you would. I- I mean, the one it's the one liners, man. It's uh, they keep you, yep. they make the movie like just gobble gobble, motherfucker. Just, <laughs> just thinking about that still makes me chuckle. The them finding the gravy flavored condom, there's enough there, you know, t- to make the hour worth it. <laughs> yeah, because if it wasn't for that stuff, the movie would be nowhere near as good as it was. Yeah. Um, I, I, can, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. And again, it's one of those films, which another fun film, which I think we should all review is, um, what's that, Chris? Treevenge. Oh, the 13 minutes? Is it 13 it's, minutes? Yeah, it's, it's like 13 minutes, but it's it's um killer Christmas trees, pretty much. It's <laughs> fucking hilarious. It's wild. It's on YouTube. And you, you think Thanks Killing is low budget? This movie is like literally like us four just like, yo, let's go fucking make a movie about killer Christmas trees. We only get a four 13 minutes. We have 15 awesome. minutes. That our budget is 15 minutes. Well, there's a part in it. It's so fucked up. Yes. They, they and, cross a line big time. And man. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be there. It made me laugh. It made me laugh just oh, because I didn't expect it. Up. It was fucked up and funny, but it, it's one of these movies. Again, it's only 15 minutes on YouTube, Treevenge. And, like, it's one of those movies to where, like, they're acting in it and they know how bad they're acting. And we know, they know that the audience knows how bad the movie is. So it works. It's another one of those movies that works for that kind of aspect. And um, I won't say it's my favorite. It's not my favorite Christmas movie at all. My favorite Christmas movie is Batman Returns. <laughs> My favorite horror Christmas movie, I have yet to find that yet. My my favorite, listen, my favorite Christmas movie used to be Home Alone until I realized Batman Returns is a Christmas movie. But uh, my favorite horror Christmas movie, I don't know yet. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, Tree Venge is one of those movies you mm. have to watch it. And I'll say turn your brain off, maybe have a drink or have a smoke, whatever you do. You don't have to. It's only 15 minutes. You, you'll, you'll survive. You can make it through. Yeah. It's not like an hour and a half of it. It's yeah. 15 minutes. I don't even count it as a movie. I thought it was just like a spoof, little funny thing. I'll be right back, you rad cast. I got a pee again. <laughs> I feel like we were wrapping this up. Yeah, I know. He, he almost made it. <laughs> Have you guys seen uh, Secret Santa? No. No, I heard about it. I was going to watch it. I totally forgot about it. It's a really good movie uh, done by the same guy that directed Jason Goes to Hell. It's okay. fucking like an awesome like uh, comedy horror. Okay. It's great. Mm-hmm. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. Like, I can't... I have a hard time, too. Like, I can't pinpoint a favorite. Like, I watch so many cheesy, especially, like, Christmas horror movies. Like, I watched all those... The 15 different versions of Krampus. (laughs) 
Krampus. I like the newer one that came out that went to theaters. I did like that one of Krampus. Uh, for funny ones, I'd say Santa Slay. Have you seen that one with Bill Goldberg? Oh yeah, Santa oh, Slay. Th- I haven't seen it, but I remember the yeah. at least previews or a trailer or something. Around Christmas, I know it was on uh, Netflix. Netflix like has like a bunch of uh, like B-rated Christmas cheesy horror movies, but the one I go to now is Tubi. Tubi has like almost like everything. Tubi is very good, especially being free. It has like a lot wider uh, variety of stuff. Yeah, uh, Jack Frost. Yep, all that yep. stuff. Yeah, but uh, I can't pinpoint a favorite Christmas movie. And there's some movies people argue with me. I don't count. I did not like Home Alone. I liked the uh, the the traps, like the yeah in parts. But that whole movie is about shitty ass parents left them alone that they should have got arrested. <laughs> the whole movie would have ended in the beginning. The next door neighbor would have found out he's home alone. CPS came to the door. Yeah. yeah I'll put him in foster care until the parents got home. But yeah, I'll, I'll say for uh, what, Black Christmas, the original. Okay. I, I think I've seen that. I don't know if I did a podcast with Aaron on it. I, I, have, I haven't seen it. That's a really good one. I'll have to check that out again. I, I've probably seen it. I'm just blanking. I don't. I. Uh, I mean, holiday movies aren't usually my favorite types of movies to watch. Yeah, I, I agree. That's why I try to go to horror. Try to find a fucked up, like Santa's killing people or something. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I look to. I don't want to watch like Hallmark shit. Okay, where it's all yeah. the same and all that crap. Unless you're Aaron watching a holiday lifetime movie. Yeah. Listen. Want, do they have one that's like an evil Rudolph or something? <laughs> Like, oh, I'm know? sure they've, there's got to be a Killer Reindeer one. I hope so. That, I'm not sure. I'm I'll not have to go a Killer it. Unicorn one. I think that'd be cool. I'll check that out. Fucking Rudolph, and they have his nose light up, and just just fucking goes around and kills people. Like all lights up with blood. Yeah, there you go. Soft filled with blood. That'd be cool. You all right there, Aaron? Yeah, I'm great. You almost pissed yourself there, huh? Broke that seal? I, I you listen, I... Tr- Tried. I just said I tried to fight it, but feeling just too strong. I had to pee. <laughs> yeah, it happens, man. <laughs> so, you know, we gave our ratings for this movie. Um, we had a good time with this movie. Each of us had at least a, a fun time with this movie. Chris, next time you watch this, watch it drunk. Oh yeah, and. It's it, it it's something that we would all I'll speak for all of us and I hope you guys agree that we would all at least recommend it to at least one friend, either being an asshole or being genuine. <laughs> Chris would be being an asshole, <laughs> but uh, depends on the situation and the friend, I suppose. Chris, well, Anthony, you know what? When I was talking to him today, he recommended this movie or at least brought the exist knowledge of the existence of it up to somebody that was talking about thanksgiving horror movies or something like that i don't know he's a good man <laughs> he's a good man mm. although then i recommended him not watch it so <laughs> mm. oh anthony rossi watch I, think, movie. I retract that statement <laughs> you will enjoy it watch it alone don't watch it with it's not a children's movie don't watch it with your wife because we don't want her to cuss you out or hit you or leave you Watch it by yourself. Have a couple mm-hmm. beers and enjoy. Um, you're Italian, so you're probably going to be eating uh, spaghetti <laughs> or pizza or lasagna and meatballs. So watch it drinking some red wine and watch it after one of your mafia movies. You're going to have a good time with this. Yes, that was very stereotypical, but that's the kind of love me, Chris, and Anthony have for each other. <laughs> it's it's beautiful. Uh-huh. Come on, you're supposed to back me on this, Chris. <laughs> no comment. He's angry. Oh, that's an awesome movie. I love this movie. I watch it every year. Yeah. No, this is gonna probably be something I watch or throw on each around each Thanksgiving now, just for the hell of it. <laughs> it'll be the new tradition. You, you gotta I, do it. I, seriously, you have. I, and here's here's what I'll say about this: for those of you who watch this movie for the very first time, you may never watch it again until next year. Let's say. My goal for this movie, my Thanksgiving wish, which is something I just made up, is every single year that you watch this movie, you recommend this movie to one new person every year. 
How about that? Is that too hard to ask? Like this year, I could say I have fulfilled that. I told Chris to check it out so we could do a podcast on it. Next year, who knows? I'll get, maybe I'll get a hold of Joe Biden to watch this movie. There you go. It's it's a movie I feel like every person who enjoys horror comedies, cheesy, stupid horror, should watch at least one time. At least oh, one yeah. time. I agree. If not once a year, one time in your lifetime. You don't want to regret missing out on this movie. Like I do not disagree. When you're 67 years old or 97, you're like, what the fuck did I do with my life? You're like, oh shit, I never watched things killing. Why not? And then you put that movie on, you're just like, oh man, the experience was so wonderful. It was <laughs> 97 years on Earth. I've experienced it all now. Yeah. It's full circle with this movie. Full circle. Full motherfucking circle. Circle. <laughs> circle. <laughs> I do want to say this to all the listeners out there, though, because I want to go downstairs and eat some Doritos. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody out there has a safe holiday. If you celebrate or not, I hope you guys have a safe day. I hope you guys get to spend that with your loved ones. Again, if it's a holiday or not for you, I still hope you get to spend it with your loved ones. Have a great time. Have a great day. Enjoy the show. Enjoy this movie, Thanksgiving. I'm Sir Sturdy, the the host of Horror with Sir Sturdy, a part of the Z Network, and I'm going to point over to Chris so you can kind of say your little closing. Thanks for checking this out. If you were uh, kind enough to sit through or listen to it all, uh, I also host a podcast called Stories from a Bar, talking to a lot of brewers and bar people and people with cool stories and having beers in the 518 Albany, Schenectady, New York area. Uh, you can also find that on the Z Network. And gobble, gobble, motherfucker. Happy Thanksgiving. CK? It's KC. Hey. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for joining us. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Um, I'm the host of The Shit Slicky Made Me Watch, where I view the shitty movies every week. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, Horror After Midnight, and you can find us on uh, Slinky's Liquor Pond and Video on YouTube, and then our uh, Facebook group, Horror After Midnight. James, you're right below me now. What do you got for us? See me on uh, Horror Source 3, majority of the time, co-host. Um, you might catch me on uh, Popcorn and Pints. Popcorn and Pints, baby. Yeah, good show. Like and, I say, uh, guys, James. Happy Thanksgiving. James is the Z Network whore. Like, if Chris <laughs> wants him for stories from a bar episode or for the Statesman series, you can hit up James. You know, and he's just like, I'm de- he, he's going to go. I mean, we're all going to help each other out in each other's shows, but James is, he's like the co-host whore of all of our shows, so to speak, to an extent. I'm the groupie. I don't get paid. I just give it up for free. See? <laughs> <laughs> he's just along for the ride. Yeah. And we respect that. We love it. But yeah, seriously though, guys, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. And go on over to the horror to sorry, the Any Last Words Facebook page or the Any Last Words Twitch page or the Any Last Words YouTube channel to watch a review on Thanks Killing right after this episode, like right now. So go ahead over there and watch it and enjoy it. And as always, I'll see you in your motherfucking nightmares. Gobble gobble mother. Fuckers. Nice tits, bitch. Nice tits. You just got stuffed. Yes. <laughs> With a gravy flavored condom, extra small. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs>